Madyaw na hapon kaninyong tanan. Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Good afternoon everyone. So reminding all the online participants that the online registration is currently ongoing. For those who still need to register, please fill out the registration form. The attendance seat for the on-site participants is located at the back and it is headed by one of our event facilitators. So before we proceed, we would like to introduce ourselves first. I'm Angeline Rezonabe. And I'm Irvin Chuapoko. We, we are, are your, your hosts host for today. today. And to formally start our program, may we request everyone to stand for the opening prayer, followed by our national anthem and the singing of ASEAN hymn. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. O God, by your grace, your servant, Father Orius, enkindled with the fire of your love, became a burning and a shining light in your church. Grant that we also may be aflame with the spirit of love and discipline. May we ever walk for you as children of light that our lives may reflect your loving radiance and let your light shine in every word that we say, in every action that we do, in every choice that we make, and in every noble cause that we commit ourselves to. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. hybrid webinar with the theme of Transformization, Equipping, and Molding the Future Leaders of Hospitality and Tourism Industry. So please settle down since we are about to start our program. I assume that the on-site participant has already been fill up the attendance sheet and for our online participants, I presume that you have already registered. 
Before we proceed to our program, we would like to acknowledge all of our on-site participants here in Father Saturnino or US University AVR1. And for our online participants from National Capital Region, Cavite State University, University of Makati, Arellano University, Pasig School for Hospitality and Tourism Management, National Teachers College, for Calderiera Administrative Region, Benguet State University, and for the Central Luzon, College of Mary Immaculate, for Calabarzon, De La Salle Lipa, Cavite State University Main Campus, San Pedro College of Business Administration, Cavite State University Bacoor Campus, Laguna State University, Laguna State Polytechnic University Santa Cruz Campus, for Bicol Legion, Partida State University Caramoan Campus, for the Western Visayas, STI West Negros University, Philomer Christian University, and to the Central Visayas Region, Cebu Technological University Mobile Campus, Malobuyok Extension, University of San Carlos, Eastern Visayas, Eastern Visayas State University, Eastern Visayas State University, Burawin Leyte, and for the Northern Mindanao Region, Lourdes College, Cagayan de Oro City, for our local region, which is Caraga, Father Saturnino Urius University, Caraga State University, Kabadbaran Campus, FSUUSSG Executive Council, Junior Marketing Executives, and Tourism and Hospitality Young Manager Executive Society. And also, Angeline, we do also have a international participants. Wow, we never expect that we have some international participants that we have in our webinar. So we would like to acknowledge our international participants. They are from Malaysia Global Institute of Studies. Shanghai, China. University of Michigan, Shanghai, Jaitong University Joint Institute. Polokwan, South Africa. Mologa to Aquaculture Consulting. We would also like to acknowledge the support of the Strategic Communication Office of Father Saturnino Orios University for helping us in this hybrid webinar. We would also like to extend our gratitude to our very supportive program dean, Dr. Emiliana J. Lozano, and also our Hospitality and Tourism Management Chairperson, Mr. Mark Lennon A. Sitones, along with the faculty members of Tourism Management Program. Thank you for coming. Without further ado, to give us the opening message, I would like to call on our very own hospitality, hospitality management chairperson, Mr. Mark Lennon A. Sitonis, on behalf of our business administration program dean, Dr. Emiliana J. Lozano. A round of applause, please. Thank you, Irvin and uh, Angeline. Uh, my respect to our Vice President for Academic Affairs and Research, who allowed us to conduct this activity for the students. To our keynote speaker, my high regard PhD IHTM classmate, Professor Bam, Ma'am. Together with our distinguished resource speakers, Ms. Suzette Vinyas and Mr. Dave Franco, who will be properly introduced by the organizing committee to our domestic and international participants watching us via FB page and Zoom platforms to our well-dressed on-site participants. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Meetings, incentives, conferences, and events, or simply the mice industry, have multiple effects through direct and indirect contributions to our economy. This multiplier effect emanates from the hospitality and tourism industries, accommodation, transportation, food and beverage, and travel sectors. Further, research studies suggest that the mice industry stimulates the rational use of cultural and natural recreational resources enabling the balanced growth of the tourism sector. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to say that we gathered in this hybrid activity today because of the collaborative efforts of the fourth year hospitality management students. In this endeavor, they are tested for their creativity, flexibility, and innovativeness to organize a significant event despite limited resources. Though the organizing committee of this hybrid webinar comprises only eight students, I am confident that they can hurdle the challenge, and now here we are. At this point, I would like to recognize the group led by Mr. Richmond Haka and Mr. Mark Anthony Haikin for accepting the challenge, and congratulations in advance. For this is it. This is the time when you reap your labor from conceptualization to implementation. However, however, it is still ongoing. For you know that the last stage is the post-event, post-event assessment, where we find out how your event is delivered through the feedback of your attendees based on how they perceive and experience the things you prepared for them. On the other hand, last March 11, 2023, another group successfully conducted their event on basic first aid and fire safety training at the College Building South of Father Saturnino Reuse University. Next month, two groups will commence their third event on fine dining etiquette and art of wine seminar workshop. The final event is the Tourism and Hospitality Young Managers and Executive Society, MICE CON 2023 on April 28 and 29, to be held online and on site. The event comprises FLARE 2023, which is the program's annual grand food and skills showdown among FSUU's hospitality and tourism students across all year levels. The other part of the event is the research conference and exhibits, which focuses on the product development of local indigenous products. Why are the students then given such requirements? Because they are mentored by our STEAM hospitality and tourism faculty members that molded them to be job ready. Going back to this activity, I hope you students will all gain practical lessons from our high caliber speakers, highly regarded in their respective fields and careers. I encourage everyone participating on site and online to ask questions during the open forum. Just what Carl Jong and Richard Link later said, the ability to ask questions is the greatest resource in learning the truth. And this, just, just what Carl Jong and Richard Link later said, just what Carl Jong and Richard Link later said, the ability to ask questions is the greatest resource in learning the truth. And this truth will only be told over a career. Without further ado, on behalf of our program team, Dr. Emiliana J. Lozano, and the entire hospitality and tourism management faculty members of Father Saturnino Urius University, I welcome you all in this event. Mabuhay. Low, low. Thank you, thank you very, very much, Sir Mark, for that heartwarming and inspiring message. I'm sure that all of us students here were enlightened by your words. To give us the event rationale, I would like to call on Mr. Mark Anthony M. Hayektin, the event chairperson of this hybrid webinar. A round of applause, please. Okay, good afternoon everyone. Mabuhay. 
A very warm welcome to all, a wonderful day, and I feel privileged to extend my warm greetings to all our online and on-site participants. I want to acknowledge the presence of our program dean, Dr. Emiliana J. Luzano, to our faculty headed by our ever-supportive hospitality and tourism management chairperson, Mr. Mark Lainon A. Sitones, LPT MMHM. Also to our keynote speaker via Zoom, Zoom Professor Maria Arlene Fernality de Simulacion, and to our on-site resource speakers, Ms. Suzit B. Vinyas and Mr. Ilsam David Franco. Also, we would like to thank the SCO for the technical assistance to make this event successful. MICE is an ever-growing part of the tourism and hospitality industry and is quickly becoming one of the most significant sectors in our economy. Today, we are conducting a hybrid webinar on MICE trends with the theme, Transformation, Equipping and Molding the Future Leaders of Hospitality and Tourism Industry. This webinar objectives aims to empower the hospitality and tourism industry's future leaders. Furthermore, we will also talk about conducting hybrid webinars, hybrid events, and essential characteristics in the tourism and hospitality industry that may apply to the real-world application. We would like you to have a fruitful discussions with our outstanding resource speakers to expand our knowledge based from their extensive experience in the MICE industry. I hope you have a fun-filled learning day on what we have prepared for you. Again, on behalf of our group, I welcome you to this hybrid webinar on MICE trends. Thank you very much, Mr. Haigtin, for the very detailed explanation of the objectives of today's event. And now we come to the main part of the program. Please allow me to introduce our keynote speaker, graduated with a bachelor's degree in business administration from the University of the Philippines, Diliman, and completed her master's in business administration with high distinction from the Far Eastern University in Makati. She is also a professional fellow and certified event educator at the Asia Pacific Institute for Events Management in UK. She is an academician, consultant, entrepreneur, and author with over 30 years of solid experience in event management, marketing and communications, training, and strategic management. She wrote business and lifestyle columns for leading magazines and broadsheets. She is currently enrolled in PhD in International Hospitality and Tourism Management in Lyceum of the Philippines, Batangas. She is a sought-after speaker on tourism and business and has also written several tourism and hospitality books. Please help me welcome Professor Maria Arlene Fernali Bam de Simulacion, our keynote speaker for today with the topic of MICE Transformation in Domestic and Global Perspective. A round of applause and virtual applause, please. Thank you. Thank you very much for, for uh, that uh, very nice introduction. It, it gets me very uh, nervous when people introduce me that way. Ngunit maraming maraming salamat po, uh, Dr. Emiliana J. Lozano, Professor Mark Lennon Sitones, my wonderful friend from PhD IHTM from LPU Batangas, Professor Regine Cusap, Professor Joanne Ayoso, the MICE organizers who were very, very good in getting in touch with me as well as mastering the uh, nuances of managing a hybrid event to our other esteemed resource speakers, faculty and students online and on site, as well as to all our friends, ladies and gentlemen from all over the world who are tuning in right now. Maraming maraming salamat po. If you would allow me to share my slide po. Okay, just give me a couple of minutes. Okay, I hope this is clear. Malinaw naman po. 
And uh, what is interesting is I heard some fantastic information from uh, our Mr. Mark Sitones about mice as well as from Mr. Haktin. And nakakatuwa po that they're very familiar with uh, the industry that I grew up in. I grew up po in uh, the mice industry. And um, this is very different from the leisure industry. Okay? And please call me Bam po. You don't have to be very formal with me. I'm, I'm good with, with Bam. Okay? I'm just fixing our my setup here. So we're going to talk about the overview. We're also going to talk about what trends are, how it has transformed. And magbibigay din po ako ng mga secrets uh, that I've learned from mentors as well as from uh, having been in the industry for such a long time. Mag yun na pong computein yung edad ko. Okay, okay na yun. I'm eternally uh, 35 or 40 depending on the age of my daughter. <laughs> Ina-adjust ko po yan. So in terms of... Um, our overview, Global Mice is actually specifically for business tourists. Okay, business tourists lang po yan. And it's considered high value. That's why all the countries, malinaw po ba yung aking slides? Uh, please let me know if you need me to adjust something. Kasi alam ko po medyo. Thank you very much, Sir Mark. Appreciate it. And then of course, it's uh, high value. Sinasabi pong high value because... There's actually six times more nakinikita po sa leisure sa sa mice versus leisure. I'll give you a very specific example. Ang isang eroplano po ng mga balikbayan or mga turista papunta sa Pilipinas, usually matipid po 'yan. Okay? So they may usually stay in their families' homes or kung magaano 'yan magsha-shopping, uh, menor-menor, mas madalas po marami silang pasalubong. On the opposite side, when we're talking of mice, these are corporate executives who have been sent to attend a business activity. So ang budget po nila is actually dependent on the com company na nagpadala sa kanila. Ngayon, ang medyo delikado po sa mice is very specific ang requirements. Napaka-specific. Pag sinabi nilang kailangan may uh, webinar na ganitong oras, ang pagkain, ganito, may mga allergy ang mga tao. So, mas matindi po ang kanilang hinihiling. And the top mice destinations in the world include uh, Paris, you have Chicago in the US, you have San Francisco, and the Philippines. Makikita niyo po mamaya yan kung ano ang rap natin. And the forecast, I hope I can encourage you to get into mice, is $1.8 billion by 2030. This is already an updated um, forecast. No? After ano na po ito, ito na pong 2023 na po ito. This is post-pandemic forecast already. And then in the Philippines, we used to be number one. And uh, nakakatuwa po that I have been part of that. I was be I was able to be mentored by people who were so generous sa kanilang mga kaalaman. Number one po tayo, not in Southeast Asia, in Asia. So you can imagine. That's why we have the Philippine International Convention Center. Unang-unang convention center po yan sa buong Asia. The Philippine Airlines is also the first airline dahil yan po ay nag-support sa ating uh, convention tourism. But our toughest competitors, na una na po sila. These are Thailand and uh, Singapore. Ang nakakatakot po sa kanila, do you know that during the pandemic, this was 2019, 2021, 22, lalo na ngayon 23, ang dinidiscuss na po nila ay 2030. They were not talking about opening it after the pandemic. They were talking about how to encourage tourists to come to the countries that they represent. Bakit po gusto ulit? Because the income that is generated is foreign exchange, shopping, food, and beverage, hotels, lahat po ng sectors ng turismo kasama lagi pag mice. And we really need to level up. We really need to, and, and you can quote me on that, no? Na medyo na, na, naiiwanan po tayo. And there is some reasons for that you'll see later. 
The Philippines has forecasted, ito po yung bago rin, is 1.4 billion by 2030 in pesos. So hopefully, again, I can encourage you to participate. Kasi kailangan po namin ng mga katulad ninyo na sumama sa amin. Incidentally, before I proceed, I'd like to also make mention that we have Miss Eda Hoven and Miss Meljane Abenido. Maraming maraming salamat po at kayo po ay kasama namin sa ating webinar. Thank you for, for joining us and thank you for having me. Salamat po sa oras. So 1.4 billion. Okay. And magkakaroon daw tayo ng 10,000 square meters of usable exhibition space by 2030. And hopefully we're getting to be number 10. Now the problem with the 10,000 square meters, nag-uupisa pa lang po yan. So there may be adjustments again. Plus, karamihan po ng major destinations ng may sa buong mundo, hindi po convention center pinag-uusapan. Plural, convention centers at floors po ng buong building. Like in, in uh, if I may share some stories also sa pagpag po nag attend din po akong ganyan, mahina po yung laki ng mega mall. Mega mall is already considered one of the largest in Southeast Asia, same as Mall of Asia. Mga gawin niyo po mga anim yun. Isang exhibition or meeting lang po yun. So you can imagine the income coming into that city. And yung number 10, uh, fingers crossed po yan. Kasi ang Asia Pacific, kasama po natin ang Australia. That is fighting tooth and nail. And China. Ang China po, isa sa napakasigasig pagdating po sa industry ang ito. Remember, we were number one before. Huh? So let's see what we can do. Nag-transform po dahil sa pandemic. We all know what happened nung pandemic. Alam niyo na po yun lahat mga nega. Excuse me po. And uh, forgive me. Doon po tayo sa magandang nangyari at kakaibang nangyari that will affect definitely mice. Apektado po ang buong turismo. Ang medyo kakaiba lang po sa ating mice industry which you know is the meetings, incentive travel, conventions and exhibitions. Nauso po yung mga bagong bagay nung nagkapag-pandemya. Yan. For example, may hybrid. Ito pong ginagawa natin. It's so fun to be with you kahit po malayo ako. Imagine niyo po kung lilipad po ako diyan or kayo po ay lilipad kung nasaan ako. I've also been able to um Listen to some of my idols. Ayan, kasama na si Sir Mark dyan. Pag nagpre-present, kasi ang klase po namin online, you can imagine what it would have been kung kami po ay face-to-face. Maaring hindi po kami magkakakilala. Ang virtual po at hybrid, dere-derecho na po yan. Why? Simply because of that. We are able to tap more people, more guests, more attendees pag ganito po tayong hybrid. Although yung iba talaga gustong-gusto nila yung syempre face to face no and I would love to be able to see you soon as well. Nag-iba rin po ang traveler behavior. Hindi lang po dahil yung iba ay natatakot, yung iba po ay eh mas matipid naman yung ganito. And even employers, they will say, "Why do you have to fly to Butuan? You can actually do a Zoom." Or why do you need to fly to Thailand sana ka namang mag-present ng Zoom? So nag-iba po 'yan. Plus ang gusto po nung iba Meron ng ibang mga activities which you will also lead later on. Hindi lang puro meeting. Then these three words I hope you remember. It has to be sustainable, inclusive, accessible. And it's results driven. I remember Sir Marco saying meron pang post event. Yun po ang isa sa pinakamatinde in terms of mice management. We can be good in the concept. We can be have uh, have a creative uh, program. Pero pagdating, baka lugi. Ayan po. Marami pong mice organizers, not only in the Philippines, na mahirig mag-abono. As much as possible, huwag niyo pong gagawin yun kung kaya. Kasi po, hindi natin masusukat eksakto kung ano ang naging epekto ng ating mga mice. And of course, technologies like what we're having right now. Okay. One of the other things is ito po. This is new and this was uh, designed by Singapore. Attendee journey mapping. Kung naririnig niyo po yung customer journey, student journey, faculty journey, ganun din po yan. And they start from the beginning. 
alam niyo po sa Singapore, the moment you get into the airport, sana po makapagsama-sama tayo sa mga activities na ito, automatic po yung kanilang uh, internet. And then, nakaset po lahat saan kayo pupunta, saan kayo uh, susunduin, saan kayo uh, kakain, saan kayo matutulog, hanggang sa pag-uwi. And pre-noctis po ito nila ito, as I was saying earlier, during the pandemic, they had a hybrid and then they had a face-to-face. So pre-noctis po nilang maigi yan. And remember, Singapore is very small. So siya, pwede natin sabihin, ang dali-daling i-manage. Uh, some friends of my teaching domestic tourism were saying ang Singapore can fit into a Clark Air Base. So ganun siya kaliit. But to be able to monitor, ang ibig sabihin lang po nito is mamamonitor natin nasaan na yung ating delegates. And if they need any problem or if they need any assistance for their problems. Ang isa pa po ito, immersive. Pag sinabi pong immersive, ay merong mga activities na kasali sila. The one on the left po, itong kulay blue na parang may mga arco, this was a Van Gogh exhibit. Yung painting po gumagalaw. Di ba usually when we go to a museum, ang painting static. No? Ganyan lang yan, tapos picture, ka kung pwede. Ito po gumagalaw. At sumasabay din po sa galaw ng ibang tao. This was brought to the Philippines last Christmas. And if you got to see it, um, medyo mahal ang kanyang fee. Pero yun po ang isang... Ibig sabihin ng immersive. Yung pong nasa kanan, kung nanunood kayo nung uh, money heist, tama ba yan, ay pwede pong magkaroon ng activity sa mice. Ha? Hindi lang basta kain or cocktail or kaya sayawan o kaya kantahan. Pwede mo magkaroon ng games. So this is one of the games that they're doing. Not necessarily po yung online gaming. Physical. Okay? Kung hybrid naman po, pwede rin sumali yung mga ating mga audiences or delegates hybrid. Ito po ay nire-require na ngayon. Sabi ko nga po, dati ang labanan, pagandahan lang ng program. Pag- pahusayan ng speaker, ngayon gusto ng iba, ay, lagyan niyo naman ng iba pa namin gagawin. Okay? Another one, ito po yung nabanggit ko kanina, is behavioral change. Pati po ang ating mga lola at lolo, they can actually use now GCash. Di ba? You mine. You said GCash, you get Grab Delivery, you get Lalamu. It's so easy. And you don't even have to go to the restaurant or to the uh, travel agent in terms of flights. No, you can actually live through it. The Korean wave is one of the things that we're seeing as one of the phenomenons that actually created a new tourism impact. The one in the middle po, itong may mga gansa. Tama ba yan? Goose. This is a fake landscape. This is fake. But people are saying, okay lang, you know, Instagrammable naman. Some people are saying, no, I'm not going to go there. Kasi fake yan. Ipopost po nila yan. Okay, so we have to pay and then lalagay nila yung mga geese dyan, lalagay nila kunyari may smoke-smoke. And that again is about behavioral change. Meron may gusto, merong ayaw, merong gusto ng travel agent, merong magbubo mag-isa. Okay. This one, please tell me. Please tell me. I, I don't want to be magdunong-dunungan po dito. Ito po ay nakita ko ang inyong mga vinta. Lovely. May mga pagkain. Hindi ko po talaga pa ito natitikman. So I hope later on po in our uh, forum you can share with me what these are and what these experiences are. Dahil ito po ang panlaban natin ngayon. Aside from, again, the program, the decor, the food, this is what is unique that people can find in your destination. Kasi pag meron po niyan, wala kami niyan dito sa Manila. Wala rin yung ibang ganyan sa Davao. Wala rin naman yung iba niyan sa Bicol. So yan po ang ipupush natin sa mice. Because ang, I, I'll say it directly, ang labanan po kasi sa mice is so complex competitive that when we say we're a hospitable country it does not matter anymore everybody's hospitable everybody so what else do we have so yung mga ganito po please tell me later ha kung ano po ito at saan ko po pwedeng matikman baka meron naman dito rin sa NCR another one is accessibility okay when we say accessibility 
hindi lang po para sa persons with uh, special needs na usually wheelchair yung nasa isip natin. Kasama na pin po lalo na sa mice and some events also, yun pong braille, yun pong hindi marunong makabasa dahil ang kanilang mata po ay may issue. So meron po mga braille, meron din mga translation. So let's avoid thinking na ang accessibility isn't about wheelchairs or ramps. It's also about being able to allow other people to participate. Kasi tulad po ng ginagawa natin, ang technology po helps with sustainability, accessibility, and inclusivity. Another one, and you can ask me questions about this, sustainability, nako, ito po, very difficult, complex idea. Some say it is about leaving the area the way we found it. But there are new topics now saying it's more regenerative, meaning pumunta tayo doon, we left, and then we added something, especially to the community. Incidentally, I'll be talking more about um, a podcast that I am in um, towards the end of my presentation. So kasama po rin dito sa sustainability is the participation of the community. For example, if you invite us from NCR to go to Butuan, maybe you want to show us what arts and crafts you have. Or pwede pong panuuri namin paano niluluto ang inyong mga delicacy or turuan niyo po kami paano siya kainin. Dapat ba nakakamay? May ritual ba? Dapat ba uh, magdadasal muna? Because these are also interesting aspects of making a destination in mice very unique. Okay? Inclusivity and diversity. Kadalasan din po pag sinabing inclusivity, yung nasa gitna. LGBTQIA+. But that's not all. Translation, as I was saying kanina, is also part of being inclusive. And then yung iba-iba tayo. Like kami po sa PhD class namin ni Professor Mark, magkakaiba po ang pinanggalingan namin, magkakaiba po ang aming experiences, magkakaiba rin po ang aming expertise. Kaya pag nag-discuss po kami, nakakadagdag po talaga ng kaalaban because we're coming from different cultures coming from different experiences. And that is also important in mice. Kasi minsan po, we also say na parang mas maraming lalaki ang guest speaker. Minsan naman, parang, parang hindi yata maintindihan kasi the language that's being used is actually English. Okay? In uh, most convention cities in the world po na mahuhusay talaga at magagaling, they have a instantaneous translation. Kung mapapansin niyo po yung uh, mga United Nations meeting, mga World Tourism Organizations conferences, naka-ano po sila, naka-earphone. Kasi instantaneous po yung translation on. And that's also part of being inclusive and diverse. Another one po is yung halal. Napakahirap po pala nitong ihanda. Hindi siya simple because it begins from where it is sourced and it ends towards um, the actual service and, and what has to be done also with the food after. I remember po one of the uh, conferences po na nakasama ako mag-organize. Iba-iba po ang preferences nila ng pagkain. And um, the solution we had was, kasi iba-iba pong lahi eh, pag kada kakain po, pinagsasama-sama namin sila sa mesa. So, halal, vegan, kosher is one thing. Iba pa rin po yung may allergy sa mani, may allergy sa seafood. Minsan, okay ang seafood pero pwe, hindi pwede crustacean, hindi pwedeng hipon. So, what we did po, if I may share my experience, is kada po kakain, yung mga pareho po ng requirements sa meal, sila yung tabi-tabi. And then we just gave them time for the cocktails para mapagkwentuhan po sila. Yung pong QR code na nasa kanan, nakumemorize na po natin yan, pati mga calling card na laus na. So we usually give QR codes which has our complete information. And ang maganda rin po sa QR code, you can actually have an entire seminar on it. You can have all of the handouts in it. You can also pass it from one person to another kung pumapayag naman po at walang problema sa copyrights. Okay? 
Ito po yung isa ng madalas nalilimutan kahit ng mga batikan ng mga mice or events organizers. Wala po tayong KPIs. We really have to measure. Kasi pag hindi po natin sinusukat, we don't have a benchmark. We don't have a way to be able to say na successful. And some of the measures or metrics na ginagamit ay using social media, using um, other technologies like beacons, yun po yung mga heat maps. Heat maps po, uh, i-discuss ko later. May, may picture po tayo din yan. And yung gano'n po karami ang nag-interact sa Facebook, gano'n po karami ang nakinig, gano'n kahaba ang pakikinig sa isang podcast, ano ang kanilang nagustuhan. Especially po with Filipinos, hindi po tayo masyadong makomment. Diba? Pag, pag medyo, uh, we, we usually make comments but we, we keep quiet. Or hindi po tayo minsan mapuri. Pag reklamo, mabilis. Pero minsan pag papuri, medyo parang nahihiya pa po tayo. But these are among the things that we should measure. Aside from the monies involved. Okay? Kasi po yung mga vice organizers, ang focus po niyan ay nasa korporasyon, mga asosasyon, or mga gobyerno. And we'll have to be very careful dahil may audit reports po na ginagawa yan. Talagang when they give you, for example, half a million or sabihin na natin na 100,000, kailangan po malinaw kung saan napunta ang pera. But we always add on for uh, miscellaneous or any specific requirements. Isa pa rin pong measure na ngayon, and I'm talking about the post-pandemic era, is the well-being and the emotions of the attendees. O di ba, kakaiba na po ngayon yun. Why? Because minsan po nagkakaroon tayo ng mga malalaking event, nagugu- nabubula, ano? nagbubulabog, nagugulantang ang komunidad. Kasi may dadaan na bisita, tas kailangan ng traffic, titigil, o kaya isang lane lang ang gagamitin kasi masyadong VIP. That's actually po pang-aabala sa komunidad. Or biglang irere root ng bigla-bigla ng hindi nalalaman. Or dahil po merong kalamidad, kailangan mabilis po tayong mag-isip kung anong gagawin and ano pin po ang response ng ating mga organizer. So, for me, when you ask me what's an organizer, napakarami po talagang uh, responsibilidad, napakarami pong iniisip, napakarami pong iniintindi. Lalo na po ngayon in the post-pandemic era. Okay? Sa staging, I mentioned to Professor Mark kanina do sa aming tech run na napakaganda ng inyong setup. You, you, you have this large stage and you have the screens there. Nakakatuwa po. Kasi isa po yan sa hinihiling ngayon ng mga companies mga universities at ganun po may mga speakers din po na maseselan tatanong pa nila kung anong angulo ang kukunan sa kanila minsan tatanong pa nila kung anong kulay ng suot kasi baka nagbleblend na pala sila do sa mga upuan so staging and production has become different and it has become so anchored on technology as well Ito po, puro po pagbabago. Of course, the safety and hygiene protocols. Lumuwag na po ngayon and uh, I am hoping and praying on behalf of everyone on this planet that we proceed with a better new normal. Of course, meron pa ping mga tao na nag-aalala. Meron din pong mga kliyente sa MICE or meron din po mga attendees na naku, ayoko nang pumunta dyan kasi naku, hindi ko kilala yung lugar na yan or baka mamaya hindi sila marunong. This one po na nakikita nyo again is from Singapore. Again, during the pandemic po nila tinesting yan. So, we, they can actually say that they were able to successfully overcome yung mga naging issue in terms of safety and hygiene as well as the issues in managing the delegate. Remember, pagdating pa lang po doon, ay um, nakatrace na sila kung ano ang ating mga pangangailangan. So dito po ngayon, medyo maluwag na. Um, it, 
depends on the venue, it depends on the organizer, and um, nasa sa atin naman din po yun kung gusto pa natin magdagdag ng specific na policy para hindi tayo mag-alala. Another transformation, ito, ito po yung medyo kailangan ng sophisticated technologies. In the Philippines, um, I know Metaverse is coming in very strongly at saka po yung mga mahilig sa online gaming. Alam nyo yan. Okay? Kasama po yan. Artificial intelligence can simply include kasama na po yung face recognition. You know, I remember po meron po akong pinagtrabahuhan dati. Uh, the current name of that company is uh, Accenture. I was there in Anderson Consulting. IT company po kami. And that stage, mga ano pa po yun eh, 1990s, ang ginagamit na po naming ID, yung iris ng mata. Pag hindi po pa rin umubra, yung pong tenga. Yung pala po yung iris ng mata at saka yung tenga natin and our fingerprints are actually unique to our person. So, ganun po kami. So, lalo na po ako minsan malabo mata ko or minsan po eh, nagkamali kami ng tingin, we can use our ear. So, kasama po yan. And then if you have holograms. And again, this is for engagement. Para kakaiba. Because experience is one of the words, again, that is getting to be very critical pagdating po sa ating mga mice. And of course, upskilling and retooling. And I also would like to thank po ang inyong university for joining APM. Meron po tayong competition. I, I wish you the best. And I'm so happy na kayo po ay sumama sa amin. I'm with the Asia Pacific Institute of Events Management. And ang aming layunin po ay i-professionalize lalo ang ating industriya. Sa Philippines po kasi at the moment, wala po tayong certification. Sa US, Canada, and Europe, meron po silang certification, meron pang specialization. For example, Kung ako po ay uh, involved in trade exhibitions, hindi po ako pwede basta mag-organize ng wedding. Kung ako po ay wedding planner, hindi po ako pwede basta gumawa ng conference. Kasi sa kanila po, very, very strict po sila kung ano yung task, ano yung role, at kung ano po yung kaalaman na necessary. And also in our country, medyo maluwag po tayo. Kung akala nyo po mahigpit pa, maluwag po. In, in, uh, but if you get to meet yun pong mga sanay sa abroad ng mga conferences or naka-attend na po kayo or naririnig nyo po, isa po sa kailangan nila yung tinatawang nilang noise decibel. Ano po ibig sabihin nun? Alam nyo naman ang karaoke sa atin, ano? Tulog na ang lahat, gising pa sila, kailangan gising din tayo. Sa ibang uh, bansa po, na professional ang events management, kung whether Christmas party po yan, o reunion, o kung ano po ang meron na pabingo, meron pong noise decibel. Isa lang po ang magreklamo. Ang ingay-ingay niya. Pupuntahin po nila yung police. And I remember that particular experience kasi doon po sa isang lugar na tiniran ko sa Canada, lagi pong may ano doon, party, yung kaharap po namin. Eh, ang aga-aga po nagpasok ko. So, sinubukan ko po, tumawag po ako talaga sa police. Wala pa pong ilang minuto, hinuli po sila. Okay? Kasi malakas po masyado yung sound. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng malakas? Yung may nabubulabog kahit isa. Yan. Ano pa po, yung firecracker uh, rule, meron po tayo dito ngayon, no? Di ba po, yung sa mga designated areas lang po. Meron din po silang sinasabi na mga activities na pag outdoor, kailangan po kompleto. Nandiyan yung police, yung SWAT, yung uh, medical team. I remember din po one kwento wherein Super VIP po yung aming bisita. Doon ko po natutunan yung mga K9, K9. So kung bukas po yung event, ngayon po dadating na sila. Una po yung mga K9, tapos may dadating po silang SWAT team. And then yung SWAT team na po yun, hindi na po yun aalis. Nakapwes na po sila. And then iba pa po yung team nila na bago dumating yung ating VIP. This is in the Philippines po, no? So... Maingat na maingat po sila pag VIP. Sana kahit ordinaryo kasi we just want to make sure that everybody is safe and everybody is protected. So ito po ang aming ginagawa sa APM. Iba-iba po ang aming certifications at 
iba't ibang bansa rin po ang miyembro ng ating Centers for Excellence. So I hope po that you have uh, we have the opportunity to include you sa ating pong Centers of Excellence at ating mga estudyante dahil magagamit niyo po ang certification na ito pag kayo po ay naghahanap ng trabaho lalo na po kung sa MICE at sa abroad. Alam ko pong may TESDA and I also took the TESDA NC3, no? Ang difference lang po kasi when we're talking of um, foreign countries and their requirements, very specific po talaga. Pati po yung volunteers, kailangan may volunteers from the community, tapos yung inclusivity na po na discuss natin, binibilang po nila yon. Like ilan yung babaeng speaker, ilan yung lalaking speaker, and uh, we want to be able to also professionalize how we deal with clients. As I mentioned kanina po, napaka-strict ng requirements po ng ating mga mice. Okay? Now, what are the options? Because alam ko po na bilang guro, karamihan po ng aking mga estudyante noon would say, Ma'am, gusto ko maging flight attendant. Okay? Gusto ko pong maging um, piloto. Alright? Gusto ko pong magtayo ng travel agent. Agency, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, gusto ko po naman na ma-encourage kayo na napakalaki po ng scope ng MICE. And I can uh, really come on strong on this dahil marami po akong estudyante na lumipat po sa MICE mula nung nag-pandemic. So, they started learning. Mga galing po itong Emirates, Qatar Airways, Cathay Pacific, Thai Airlines. So, Naisip po kasi nila, ganun pala, yung pagwala o wala. So they decided, so because why don't you try? Mag-upisa kayo ng simple lang. So I'll show you po what the options are. Okay. Siyempre, kung maraming options, eto naman po yung munang hinihingi. Resilience. Um, some people call this grit. Ang grit po is yung pag tayo po ay nasigawan, tayo po ay nasa bihan, tayo po ay nasermonan, hindi po tayo mawawala sa ulirat. Resilience is being able to overcome critique, feedback, no matter how it is said. Alam nyo naman po, pag tayo ay nagtatrabaho or nagtatayo ng negosyo or nakikipag um, partner with, with a group, kahit po bilang estudyante, bilang guro, bilang administrador, May mga tao pong medyo masakit magsalita. And I've experienced that. I've experienced that most of my mentors are really tough na talagang hindi uubra. At pag umiyak po, ang sasabihin lang, oh, pagkatapos mo mong iyak, maghilamos ka, then bumalik ka dito kasi ang dami natin gagawin. Resilience or grit is one of the things we need to develop if you want to go into events or lalo na po ang mice. Kasi again po, ang mice, it's the client paying for all of it. And then yung critical thinking. Kailangan po nakikita natin ng iba-ibang options. Nagkakaroon po tayo ng tinatawag na out of the box. Maaring hindi yon ang kadalasang ginagawa but then we're able to think through para hindi po tayo maligaw. Sabi nga nila, we're able to think on our feet. Kasi mas marami po na nagkakaroon ng issue Pag hindi po planado. And I'll give you an example. There were a couple of semesters po, I teach in FEU po, and where may mga events competitions. So dalawa lang po ang tanong ko sa mga sections ko. One, gusto niyong pumasa. Oh yes! Yes, syempre po ma. Ano mo naman tanong yan? Okay. Second question. Gusto niyong manalo? Do you want to win? If you just want to pass, sure. Ay, nagkakaroon po ba ako ng feedback? If you want to win, you get ready. And I'll share with you some of the stories that happen. So sabi nga, hindi ma, we want to win. Ganyan, 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 ganyan. Sabi ko, sige, sigurado ha. So I'll tell you the story of yun pong isang event namin na Apat na sections po yun magkakasama. Karamihan pa hindi magkakabate. I don't know for whatever reason. So they said, ma'am, we just want to win this. Okay. 
I added a third question. Which one do you want to win? Kasi iba-iba po eh. Merong design, merong um, setup, layout, merong uh, program. So this was a competition po of a bancheto. Umpisa pa lang po nauuso yung bancheto. So, swerte po, ang nabunot namin ay uh, Pampanga and Bulacan. Okay, so, wow, masarap yan. Masarap pa mga pagkain, masarap pang mga lutuin, no? So, again, I ask them, you wanna win this? Yes, ma'am, ganyan. Okay. O, ihanda na ang mga tissue paper. Alam ko maraming magagalit sa inyo kasi hihigpitan ko na kayo. Dahil yun ang inyong objective. Kung gusto niyo lang pumasada, that's fine. also fine with me. Dahil hindi naman it's about me, it's about them. So pati po yung practice namin kasama yung pagbiglang umulan. Summer po ito, open air. But knowing the um, weather changes, pinaktis po namin yon. So nakaset up po kami. Nandun na yung mga pagkain, nakabihis na sila, anong gagawin namin pag umulan? Sabi ko, kahit ambun lang. Kasi titikman din po yung pagkain. Eh. So, it has to be placed in an area where it could be stored, it could be safe, at hindi siya ma mapanis or ma-spoil. So, we practice that. And of course, eh, ang daming reklamo. Si ma'am naman. Sabi ko, sabi ko nga sa inyo eh. Gusto niyo lang pumasa. I'm fine with it. The other thing we practice, para po yung ginawa natin kanina, is a run-through of everything that happens. And it was time. Kasi po, magbibihis sila. Ang isa po rin pong criteria na inayos namin, ay, I mean inayos, ay pinag- uh, buhusa namin ng oras, yun pong ang haba kasi nung time ng judging. Meron pong magja-judge at the opening, meron pong dadating at the middle, and meron din pong magja-judge at the end. So, hindi pwedeng mapanis, hindi sila mukhang panis, hindi sila mukhang haggard. So, what we did was, magro-rotation sila. So, yung unang batch na nandun sa booth, yan. Pagkatapos dyan, palit na ng iba. So, they have a team on their own. And they were to speak kung kapampangan po yung booth nila in perfect kapampangan, kung kanilang booth ay bulakan in the way that a bulakenyo would speak. And yung po mga pagkain, isa po sa criteria yon. So ito po ang request ko sa kanila. Eh, seryoso po nila, gusto mag-champion eh. Because ang kapalit nga po pala nun, wala na kaming final exam and everybody gets an uno. So yun yung katapat. So it's like, no, no one left behind, pero monitored po lahat-lahat ng contribution nila. So I asked them, um, nag-off po kami, I gave them a time off, coordinate with people yung mga may edad sa Pampanga at Bulacan at kunin ang mga heritage na cuisine. Kasi sabi ko, alam niyo, pupusta akong natawagin nila dyan mga chef. So pag mali ang inyong bringhe o hindi tama ang inyong pastillas, doon naman kayo matatalo. End of story, so pagod na pagod po lahat. The, the closing ceremonies was not like already at 8 o'clock in the evening. And kailangan po ayos pa rin sila. Siyempre, sa pagod po nila at sa kanilang pagpupursige, uno, everybody. And I had to, I did not have to fight for that with our dean. Kasi talaga pong, um, sabi ko nga nila, paso nyo naman talaga. So yun pong ibig ko sabihin na kahit at that level, that we can do it. And you can say, mamang hirap-hirap naman. Now, this is what I tell you. Some of them are abroad. Some of them are banquet managers. Some of them shifted to events. And some of them would tell me their stories on, on how they're able to deliver. Yung iba naman po, flight attendants pa din. Yung iba, uh, piloto. Meron pong piloto. Yung iba, nagtuturo din. Yung iba po ay nasa tiesa. Yung iba po ay nasa ibang industriya. But what they learned from events, transferable skills po yun. Nagagamit nila. Pati po yung scenario planning, yun yung paano pag umulan or paano pag uh, mapapanis na or anong oras dadating yung next batch. The flexibility. For example, yun nga po, medyo naiinita na yung isa or nahihilo na o palit na kaagad. Of course, they had to be very creative. They looked at the data not necessarily data na, na hardcore, pero po yung data on what makes a real kapampangan or a bulakan cuisine. And then yung experience po 
na sabi ko nga, kahit bandang alas 7 na, pag may gusto pang tumikim or kumain, kailangan meron. In terms of monetization, I ask them to make their own computations kung hanggang saan yung kaya nila. And uh, yun nga po, naging uno ang kanilang grade lahat. And I'm always so proud, I always talk about them. But aside from that, yun pong skills na na-build nila, nagagamit nila sa iba't ibang industriya. Now we'll go to what really can you do with a mice uh, skill or a mice um, capacity to do events. One, you could be a professor. You could be an author. You could be a dean, program head, manager. You could also be into research. Lalo na po sa Philippines. I'm encouraging everybody to please join us po in our crusade. Kasi konti po ang ating data. Ang lamang po ng Singapore at saka Thailand, panay-panay po ang kanilang data. Very updated. And they're very serious about it. Of course, you may say, no, na sila ay uh, sinusuportahan ng kanilang gobyerno, kanilang ministro. But still, they're very, very keen on making sure na hindi po tayo makasingit and they have hard facts. Lagi po silang updated. So, pag akadim po ang gusto ninyo, this is something they could do. Okay? Oops. Kung gusto niyo naman pong magnegosyo, ang... Mice organizing po is one. If, if you are keen on this, you can ask me later on how you actually put up one. Lalo na po ngayon, di pa mahigpit. As I said, if you do this abroad, especially US, Canada, Australia, and Europe, they will look for a portfolio. So ang pangalawa po ay pwede po kayo mag-consultant. You can help people design a specific area like, ah, eto magandang mga experiences to na pagdating pa lang nila, meron ng bumabagsak na mga lobo or uh, yung pagkain nila, um, fusion. Okay? You could also be a mice supplier. Napakadami po pangangailangan ng mice mula sa bulaklak, upuan, mesa, placemat, tablecloth, banquet, catering, baso, lahat po yan. We have actually a large network sa katagalan po syempre at sa pakikipagkaibigan din natin dahil meron pong mga supplies na kukonti. I'll give you one tip. Yung pong generator is one of the most sought after supply in the Philippines. Lalo na pag, pag uh, Pasko, New Year at Valentine. Yan po. Kasi pag po medyo malakihan or kaya outdoor o kaya po um, merong mga ibang activities na kasabay, madalas po nag-treat trip ang kuryente. Kahit po sa mga hotel. That's why may makikita kayong mga generators dyan. At kukonti lang po ang nag invest dyan. So kahit yun po ang inyong negosyo, because when you build up a network, paulit-ulit lang po yan. We get in touch with you or kayo naman po ang tatawagin. Or you can go as simply as yung po mga tokens or giveaways. So napakarami po. You can also be in the support service. Ito po, technology, production, staging. Alam nyo po ba na meron po kaming miyembro ng team na ang kanyang expertise is simply the audio and video recording. So, ire-record niya, i-edit niya, i-enhance niya yung voice. Kasi hindi naman po lahat, di ba? Medyo maganda ang boses. Yung iba naman, uh, masyadong malakas, mahina, or gumagalaw masyado, parang ako malikot, or kailangan i-edit. So, pwede rin po yun. And not just in mice, no? You can do that for events as well. So, you can be an entrepreneur. Another one is you can be in creative mice. Okay. Technical support. Ito po yung may mga sophisticated technology like um, holograms. Yung po kasabay kumakanta ni Michael Jackson yung inyong uh, team. O kaya yun po mga beacons. Namanggit ko po yan kanina. Ang beacons po ay nagsasabi sa atin, it's a wearable technology, nagsasabi ko sa atin kung nasan yung hinahanap natin. For example, ay hindi ko mahanap yung booth na tungkol sa mga ano, butuan, arts and craft, itatype nyo lang po yon, 
ibibigay niya sa inyo kung nasaan kayo. It's like a directory. Meron din po silang tinatawag na heat map. Ano naman yun? Pag nasa isang lugar po kayo, exhibit or conference or malakihang uh, venue, nalalaman po ng mga tao kung saan tayo tumitigil. Or puro ba tayo punta sa kanan? Or puro ba tayo punta sa kaliwa? And then yung technical team po in charge dan would lead us to the other places na magandang tingnan. For example, ah, lagi niyang hinahanap mga tungkol sa mga damit. So, pero dito lang siya nagpupunta kasi tinatamad na siyang mag-ikot. Nararamdaman po nila yun kasi parang yun sa panggera, di ba pag yung mga night, ano yun? night goggles. Nakikita nila na puro doon lang yung mga tao, then they will redirect us. This also used in other uh, activities like po yung may hinahanap. For example, may mga team building dyan or medyo open area. They can actually find kung meron taong naligaw or nawawala. The other one is collaboration with the community. The WTO really coming on strong on this. And ako po isa po sa advocate nito. It should not always be top down. I believe it should be bottoms up. Kasi ang community po ang naaabala. Ang community po ang talagang mag-generate ng income kung kasali sila. Ang community po ay natututo rin makibagay sa mga turista. Alam niyo po kasi may mga communities na ayaw nila ng turista. At may mga bansa rin na babawasan na ang turista. But if they are involved, they will be able to get that pride para masabing, oy kasama kami dyan. Incidentally po, isang example niyan would be kung yung pong Tokyo Olympics, which is a mega event, ay nagkaroon ng, uh, ay nawala yung pandemya nung panahon na yun, uh, kayo po ay makikita na the entire Japanese community was involved. Of course, there are so many innovations that you can do and so many experiences that you can design. Tandaan niyo po yun, na accessible, inclusive, sustainable, experiential, and that makes mice. So ang secret po, I'm about to close my discussions, are these. One, detalyado. Very detailed po ang mice. Remember, it's a client paying. Pag sinabi pong tulips from uh, a certain supplier, eksakto po. Pag sinabing halal and kosher, kailangan po eksakto. Second one is the ability to network, makipagkaibigan, makipagkapwa-tao, and to always be polite. Dahil minsan po hindi natin alam kung sino ang ating kausap. And the last secret is to always be humble, to always be able to do what you can at that particular moment dahil ang natatandaan po ng mga tao sa mice is yung ating pong pakikisama, pakikibagay, at pakikipagkapwa-tao. So in closing, I'd like to invite you to my podcast, Beyond Biases, Borders, and Barriers. We have three episodes up na po. Meron po dito sa Spotify, sa Google Podcast, and sa Apple. And this April po, magkakaroon po tayo ng tuloy-tuloy na pong mga podcast. Ito po ay tungkol sa turismo. It's very light. You can use it para sa mga classes po ninyo. You can actually even send me some questions or topics that you'd like me to cover. So in the, at the moment po, we, we talked about uh, what to expect in this year that events are not sustainable, and that uh, the baguette, yung pong tinapay ng French, ay nakakuha po ng heritage site. And with that, I just want to encourage you that uh, we have to move forward to be resilient, collaborative, inclusive, and to have best new practices. Yung pong maganda dati, ituloy, yung hindi na po pagpwede, baguhin. Ito po si BAM Desimulasyon. Maraming maraming salamat po. Sana po kayo po ay makasama ko rin sa Facebook. At please listen to my podcast, Beyond Biases, Borders, and Barriers. Thank you so much po sa inyong lahat. Maraming pong salamat. Thank you po. Thank you, Professor Dissimulasyon, for sharing your knowledge and fascinating experiences. The students here with us, and particularly the online participants, will learn from this information and apply it in their future in Divor.
So to give us the insights about the topic and also to facilitate the open forum, we would like to call on Mitch, Mr. Richmond Haka and Ms. Kathleen Spandones. A round of applause, please. Mabuhay, good afternoon everyone. I am Kathleen Spandones, one of the event facilitator. Webinar, hybrid webinar rather on my strength. Okay, again, good afternoon, Professor uh, Mario Arlene Fernali, T. Dissimulation, ma'am. Indeed, that was an informative session about transforming the mice industry from domestic and global perspective. Yes, transformation and adaptability in mice industry are necessary to cope up with the competing sectors. Yes, Kat, I agree. Hearing those informative and enlightening words from Professor, this, this simulation is like a compass for us to navigate our journey in an events organizer complex and wonderful life. I am also not not to set aside, her discussion is enable us to deepen our understanding in our industry. Ayan. All right. Uh, the open forum is now open. So for those participants who want to raise their questions, especially to our on-site participants, just please Raise your hand, and for the online participants, you can comment your questions in our comment section here at the Facebook Live via um, the page of Hospitality and Tourism Management. So, any hands who want to question? Okay, we have a participant who wants to question. Um, uh, uh, Professor Maria Arlene Fernality Dissimulation. Okay, Mr. John Michael Vince Alvarez. Okay, so good afternoon, ma'am. So here is my question. How did the COVID-19 pandemic change the landscape of the mice industry? Okay, um, may I have your name again, please? Um, John Michael Vince A. L. Perez. Hi. And everybody, just please call me Bam. Okay, you don't have to go through the motions of my full name. Um, I, I think in my presentation, I didn't mention that, that the um, there's so many changes in behavior, the changes in the way that people travel, the changes also, because we're focusing on more inclusive, sustainable, uh, immersive activities. Definitely, ang mice will be most likely the last to recover. Yan ang tinitingnan nila if we insist on face-to-face. -face. But because we've been used with the technology na hybrid, it can actually adapt more. And I, I know from friends that they prefer this type, yung ginagawa po natin ngayon, because it has been able to reach out to more audiences, reach out to more people to share experiences. Now, in terms of the monetary, Pareho rin po ng tourism industry and hospitality industry. Yung buong sector, uh, zero yan. But because isa po sa una ang nag-experiment. Um, nag Actually, the, the, what Singapore did was to prove that we can move forward in mice with or without a pandemic. They tested that and it, it showed fantastic results. Pero pareho rin po with the industry, no? including the education industry. But we're slowly getting back on our feet and hopefully more Filipinos will be involved. Kasi dyan po tayo talaga magaling. Uh, I think I mentioned some of the traits that they, they need and we have that. Okay. I, I hope I, I got to answer your question. Okay, ma'am. So thank you for answering. Thank you. So thank you. Yeah, just call me bam po, ha? Huh? Yes, you don't have to be formal. Okay, um, um, Professor Bam. Um, any other questions from the other participants? Maybe you'd like to know how much money you'll make. 
Baka nahihiya kayo. Huwag kayong mahihiya. Okay, we have Miss Cherry Tabada. Hello. Good afternoon, Professor. Um, my question is, could you give us a short illustration of how mice industry did perform during the pandemic? Okay. The mice industry shifted to hybrid. And mostly from the beginning, no, virtual siya talaga lahat. All of the conferences I personally attended were, ha were virtual. And again, what I want to emphasize about what happened there is people who would not been, have been able to be invited to the Philippines. Kasi ang, ang mga rates po ng mga speakers na mga inimbita nila, yung mga talagang tugatog na po, ng mga idols natin, and I, I got to ask them, and some of them are my mentors, they were saying, even with 5,000 US dollars, we're not coming to the Philippines. Kasi uh, they're based in Greece or Turkey or... Tsaka takot po sila sa Philippines. So one of the examples of the transformation was the shift to virtual. Immediately po yan. Immediate. And uh, the second one was the, the, the production moved to technical aspects. It's all uh, Zoom. Tumaas po ang stocks ng Zoom ah, because of uh, the pandemic. Nobody was thinking of Zoom. And then you had Google Meet and Teams as well. So it's more of uh, the technology that was used. But again, it gave us access to more people, not just in the industry ng mice, but across all industries and across all types of people. And then nagkaroon din po ng mga concerts. If you've noticed, meron minsan mga may mice, tapos may concerts, all virtual. And what is interesting there, Iha, is we could do it. When I say we, we Filipinos and everybody else in the world, kaya sinasabi na kailangan resilient. Diba? Because if we just stopped, then there would be nothing that we could be doing at this particular moment. This would not be um, possible. Pero dahil po yung, yung biglang pivot, I think that's the word that they always use, nag-pivot, nag-shift, nagpalit agad ng uh, pamamaraan, then we were able to handle it. Now, in terms of the income, syempre less, no? Because the industry was not able to generate income from hotel bookings or ticket reservations. Pero in terms of continuity, nagkaroon pa rin during the pandemic. I hope that's fine. If you have a follow-up question, sabihin niyo lang po. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, I hope. I okay na chair. Okay na puba, Miss Cherry Tabada. And mom, I also have a question about um, um, where is our mice industry in the Philippines heading now? As we are on this new normal, are we ready to compete internationally or something like that? But, Okay, thanks very much. And uh, I'm going to be very honest and transparent because I usually sit in the discussions on this. Unang una, our airport is not ready. Our immigration people are not ready. And it's so sad. It's so sad. Because um, as tourism and hospitality professionals, we would have to realize that the first thing and the last thing a tourist sees and experiences is the airport. So, kung hindi na maganda experience niya, papasok, kung kapwa Pilipino nga po natin. I'm being controversial, but this is as honest as I can be because I'd like to be able to be transparent. Yun po yung kailangan ayusin. If you also notice in Singapore, ginawa nilang tourist destination yung airport. You now have so many gardens there. You have so many places where you can do Instagram. When in fact, it's simply just an airport in a small country. Now, in terms of uh, our skills, we really have to level up because we're not yet at the stage where we can compete heavily again with Singapore and Thailand. Now, Malaysia is coming on strong as well. And kung Asia, China will be the powerhouse. So, ang isa pong masasuggest ko, if, if you'd like to um, get into vice or like to help us, we need more data. Mahirap po kasi mag-predict ng mice uh, inbound if there's no data. At the moment, and you can quote me, there is no specific mice data 
merong leisure tourists, may balik bayans, but no specific to business tourists, which we need to know. Um, and uh, we're ready in terms of the English speaking skills, we're ready in terms of the capabilities. We're probably needing more infrastructure. Kasi as far as I'm concerned, there are very few international standard convention centers. Pero kung human resources ang labanan, um, we're ready. But with the rest of the support services, that we'll need to really work on it. Specifically the airport. I would like to emphasize that because again, that's the last thing and the first thing people experience. Yun po. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, ma'am. For last question, ma'am. What is your most unforgettable experiences in organizing event and what how we can reflect on that most unforgettable okay i'll give you a couple huh one of the events that i handled um uh, was for former president estrada okay alam niyo naman former president estrada is very um charming good looking and he has a whole line of uh, ladies Okay, in his life. So, one of my experiences was I was doing initially a, 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 a conference for Mrs. Ejercito. Okay, si Dr. Aloy. And uh, because I was doing another event almost immediately after with um, Madam Gia, okay, pareho po silang nasa Malacanang. Uh, it's just that they have separate offices. And uh, whenever you say, uh, I'm here to see Mrs. Estrada or the First Lady, they would ask, Sino pong First Lady, ma'am? Si Doc o si Ma'am Gia? Uh, sabi ko, uh, pareho ba silang nandyan? Ay, ma'am, magtatampo yun. <laughs> Kasi sino po talaga yung committee nyo? So that, that's one, you know. So that's why I said you've got to be very, very good at managing relationships. Um, another one was, I think, dagdagan ko yung kanina yung kwento ko about, uh, that was very difficult. No? We, we flew in 5,000 people for a conference. So we booked the whole of Shangri-La and the whole of Peninsula in Makati. So dalawang hotel. And yun po, yung lahat sila merong allergies. Merong peanuts, merong crustacean, merong kosher. Ang gusto kosher is for Jewish, no? And then merong halal na halal na strict, merong halal na hindi. Merong ve vegan pero kumakain ng itlog. Meron namang vegetarian na pescarian. So, that was tough. And I was very, very young at the time. So, we, we came up with this idea na kada, kada kain, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, cocktails, we would have to require, hindi request, require them to sit together kasi hindi po kakayanin ng service ng kitchen. Diba? Alam mo, pag nag-go-order, kanina po yung pansit? Kanina po yung... So, we... And they had a lot of resistance because they wanted to be with their colleagues and their friends and yung pag-business-business business meeting nila. But that was the only way we had to, to do it. A third one would be, iba-iba po ito, yung ubulan. We were doing a um, meeting outdoor. Biglang umulan ng malakas. Yung, yung parang binuhusan po ng timba ng tubig. And uh, I think that's where my experience of teaching my students at the time na you have to be ready for that. So buti na lang po, we, we had the team also and we practice it. Ang problema, ang una po namin kailangan ilagay sa loob were the musical instruments. Because we had an orchestra performance before the conference na outdoor. So we had to decide which ones to bring in first. So ang ginawa po namin, uh, and you can imagine, a 60-piece orchestra would have uh, double bass, timpani, guitars, and all. So yun po, in, and the lights, no? So dahil na-practice po namin yun, in less than an hour, we were able to set it up again inside. So yun po. And again, one of the things I also like to share is... Uh, Sa negosyo po nating ito, sa buhay po nating ito, kahit po ano ang ating gagawin, yung pong uh, mabuting pakikisama helps actually. Because it's a lot of networking, it's a lot of relationship building, and um, kung mainit ang ulo, eh, palamigin na lang muna. Because there's no way that you can do mice or anything in this world na nag-iisa. 
And ang mais po ang isa talagang sobrang daming tao na iba-iba po ang mga ugali. Yun po. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am Marie Arlene, this simulation. I hope everyone got some uh, some tips from Mom Bam, and she also shared the secrets to the to a successful mice, like being detailed, being polite, and networking and being humble towards each other. Once again, that was Professor Maria Arlene Fernality, the simulation. Good afternoon, ma'am. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Thank you so much po for having me and mabuhay po kayo sa butuan. And hindi ko po nakalimutan sasabihin niyo sa akin yung pagkain. <laughs> Kung ano po yun. So just message me what that was because I'd love to have that uh, delicacy as well. Salamat po. Muli. Thank you, ma'am. So in this juncture, we would like to call on Ms. Nice Calop to give up certificate and appreciation to Professor Bam de Simulacion. A round of applause, please. Okay, so mabuhay. Um, good afternoon, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, good afternoon to Mom Bam, and good afternoon to our ever supportive chairperson, uh, Sir Mark. Good afternoon, and to our source speaker, Mom Suzette, and Sir Dave. Good afternoon. Okay, so before I'll read the certificate citation, I'd like to call on the chairperson of the Hospitality and Tourism Management under the Business Administration Program of Father Saturnino Orios University, Mark Lennon Sitones, for the virtual handover of certificate to Professor Di Simulacion. A round of applause, please. Okay, so can I have the So please allow me to read the citation. Father Saturnino Orios University Business Administration Program Hospitality and Tourism Management awards this certificate of appreciation to Professor Maria Arlenti Di Simulacion for sharing valuable knowledge as a guest speaker during the hybrid webinar with the theme, Transformation, Equipping and Molding the Future Leaders of Hospitality and Tourism Industry, held on March 25, 2023 at Father Saturnino Orios University, AVR1 and Virtual Platform. Given this 25th day of March 2023 at Father Saturnino Orios University, Butuan City, signed by Mark Lennon A. Sitonis, LPT MMHM, Chairperson of the Hospitality and Tourism Management. Emiliana, Dr. Emiliana J. Lusano, Dean of the Business Administration Program. And Reverend Father Randy Jasper C. Ojige, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Research. Okay. Okay, so a round of applause, everyone. Thank you very much. Okay, so, so before ending the giving of, of certificate, I'd like to ask Sir Mark if you have any message to Mama Arlene. Um, again, I, I would like to express our heartfelt gratitude to Prof. Bam, Ma'am, thank you for so much, Po. And uh, regarding your query on the delicacy, um, that's kayam po. Uh, though it's not, really not native in, in Botuan, but uh, ilan lang yang dito sa Mindanao. But um, the, the program, the Hospitality and Tourism Management Program, is on the direction of developing kayam as a souvenir item for for Botuan. And then uh, just last year, we participated in the DOST um, Innovate Innovation competition and uh, luckily we, we did uh, get into the finals and uh, that's our our motivation to to polish more with our product development and once we, we have that kayo po ang unang makakatikim po Ma'am Bam <laughs> Yan po. Uh, again po Ma'am Bam thank you so much in behalf of the organizing committee
Any message po, Ma'am Bam? Thank you, Professor Mark. It's such an honor for, for me to be with you. Maraming salamat po sa lahat po ng faculty and students and lahat po ng nanonood at nakikinig. I hope I was able to share with you as much as I could. And if you have any other queries or you're interested in the industry, just shoot me a message. My, my um, FB po is BAM Dissimulation. And again, ini-invite ko po kayo sa aking podcast ng Beyond Biases, Borders, and Barriers. And maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong universidad na pinagbigyan po ako ng pagkakataong ganito. Thank you po. Okay. Thank you, Ma'am BAM. And picture daw muna kayo ni Sir po. With our uh, Zoom participants, <laughs> okay na dito po, Ma'am uh, ma Kakaino and Sir Morris. Dito lang ko. Ah, yeah. Okay na. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you ulit, ma'am. Ma'am, salamat. Okay, so once again, I'd like to thank Professor Dissimulation for joining us today and for gracing us with her presence via Zoom meeting. Thank you so much, Professor Bam. We appreciate you spending time with us this afternoon, and we really do look forward to seeing you again in our future events. Okay, so I would also like to inform Mom Bam that the actual certificate is set to be delivered by next week. Okay, so thank you very much. A round of applause, everyone. Thank you, Ms. Nice Calob. So before continuing our program, let's check the comment box to see if the online participants are still with us. So online participants, please comment a heart reaction in the comment section. For we prepared some icebreakers. So for our on-site participants also, please shout out na lang. Please a round of applause para may mo. So the game we prepared for our online participants is called Wheel of Names and for our on-site participant it is called Guessing Games. So both of the game will be facilitated by Ms. Trisha May Otakan. A round of applause please. Good afternoon, everyone. So we have prepared here two games for both online and on-site participants. So for now, let's cater first our online participants for the game called Wheel of Names. So for those who registered the Google form, expect that you could be the winner of this game. Okay, so who will be our lucky winner for today? All right, so we have a winner. Congratulations to Roxine C. Galay. And now let's proceed to our guessing game. So this game will test the understanding of our on-site participants. Are you all excited? Yes. Okay, so the first participant who raised their hand and gave the correct answer will be our winner. And now our first guessing word is... So the first guessing word is Okay, Miss Sikusana. All right, so that's correct. The answer is transformation. Okay, so let's proceed to our second guessing word. The second guessing word is All right, so Miss Tabada. Okay, so that's correct. The second guessing word is domestic. And the last guessing word is... 
Raise your hand if you know the answer. Yes, Miss Aying. Very good. So that our last guessing word is country. Okay, congratulations. And to all the winners. Okay, and to all the winners, we have assigned our secretariat to contact you for the giving of prizes. That's all and thank you. So I hope everyone is now ready to listen to our first resource speaker. She took up Bachelor of Science in Management at UP Cebu. She holds a master's degree in business administration from this university and is currently finishing her dissertation. She is also passionate about events organizing and spearhead various university events. She is director of the Auxiliary Resource and Service Office and the Strategic Communication Office. She is now happily married and proud mother to her son, Mateo. Her topic is about conducting hybrid event. Let us please welcome Ms. Suzette B. Vinyas. A round of applause, please. May hapon. Lingaw kayo sa inyong game. Isul kitag na on in pair. Thank you. Um, before, <laughs> before I even start, I would like also to greet the 100 viewers, sakto bako online. Hi, may hapon sa inyo, and also the um, face to face participants, as well as the participants in Zoom. May hapon sa tanan. Also, shout out to my team, the SEO team, Sir Morris and Mam Kakai and Angelo. And of course, special shout out to our SEO SA, Angela. Hi, Jel, Minoka. Sige. So, um, good afternoon, everyone. I am very honored to be invited here. Thank you, Sir Mark. Um, we've been doing hybrid events for, I think, the last three years since the pandemic. So, uh, a little bit of overview. Basically, the Strategic Communications Office, our office, the one that is helping you with your uh, hybrid event right now, has been established during the pandemic. No, So, um, all of us, all of us had to grapple. Maragid me og everyday learning, everyday learning. Kay, we had to adjust right away so that we can deliver, we can attend to your needs as students. And now that we're back to face to face, we also have a lot of challenges mounting hybrid events. So, the sharings that I'll be giving you right now is focus on. Um, our experiences, but at the same time, also our learnings, and um, we don't claim to be experts, but rather, um, kumbaga, nanapod may mga experiences na worth sharing. But I'm also thinking na this could be this this should come as late because the one that you're doing right now is already a hybrid event, right? So nalang may mga inputs nga possible wala na consider sa inyong event karon. Sige, so I'll start. Okay, yun bitaw ko. Titry na daw ni nila. So, next slide na lang. <laughs> oh, is this on? Sorry. Wala. Di siya on. Hello, Conchelo. Thank you. Sige. So, hybrid. What is hybrid? What is the difference between a hybrid event and a virtual event? Kano? Another game with a prize. Charing. Anyone? What's the difference between a virtual event and a hybrid event? Ah, Monsters Angela. Ayo podloy kayo. Masay nyo ngi daog daog. So basically, virtual event. This this is what we did during the pandemic. Everybody's online. We use Zoom. We use Google Meet. Maybe Microsoft Teams. Everyone's online, right? Okay. Of course, we can't go out due to the restrictions. But with hybrid, basically the word hybrid is another element plus another element, which in this case, in-person and 
virtual attendees. It doesn't even mean or not limited to attendees. I'm amazed that you have speakers who are also hybrid, diba? You have an online participant, ah, no, sorry, speaker. You have a face-to-face -face speaker. And then you also have, grabe gani, multi-hybrid, napa mo Zoom, napa gid mo live. So, amazing. Pakpakipan yung mga kaugalingon, diba? Okay, it's, it's, not, it's not easy, I'm telling you. Sige, so that's basically what makes it hybrid, no? Very simple, you have in-person, you have um, virtual attendees. Remember, uh, have you attended the recently uh, EduTech caravan at the gym? That's a hybrid event. We have speakers from all over the world, and then the participants are at the gym, and we also have speaker, ah, uh, sorry, audience online. Sige, I'll try. Yes, it works. Okay, so the, sorry, the mice, ay, dagan na po kayo. Wala gida akong ikatulo. Sige. Okay, thank you. Kasi nag-birthday ka ron. Wala. This cake is for you actually. Anyhow, so reasons for going hybrid. Number one is, of course, travel restrictions. So, siguro it may not be applicable to us right now because we're all here. But for some people, nagigya po travel restrictions, right? Possibly na biyaan sa flight, possibly po nga hindi sila taga Butuan. So there are travel restrictions. Say for example, if we have a speaker from out of the country, it would be very, very expensive no, to bring them all here. So isa na siya sa considerations. Another is attendee preferences. I tell you, there are still people who do not go out of their houses. Na may kaila, silingan, nga pag hantud karun. Ako na ako kailang. Wa pagya po ni gawas sa ilang balay. Oh, of course they're unvaccinated so isa po na sa consideration. But all I'm saying is there are still people who are not um, willing to go out, no? So that's why okay, pwede magkuha na lang ko kanang online na lang online participant or maybe the webinar is kanang sponsored by other countries. So of course isud sad matutag Singapore, matutag Thailand para barato online na lang si magyapon nga content. Another is, of course, limited budget. Okay, so um, it's one of the major considerations. Okay, maybe it's too expensive. Diba? Uh, nindut kayo nga backgrounder tung my stock because it says there nga, it will always depend on the budget because when you put up something like this, it's going to be very expensive. No? So, although, kung purely online rapud siyang, mahitabo, you cannot maximize your event. Gamay rapud imuhang. Um, kay kung online, usually, barato na registration, no? Kaysa face-to-face. Kaysa face-to-face, hindi mo pa mga pakanon. Wala mo pakan, ah? <laughs> Sige. Number four is venue limitations. Okay. Uh, I also commend you for choosing ABR1 maybe because we have Pasco at CBE. Because this is very, very difficult here in ABR1. Nga naman, this is one of the oldest venues and we have not tried streaming this, uh, streaming an event here at, at ABR1. Nga naman, lisod ganyan ang wifi makasulod, bantay mo, even ang mobile data na ito ma-lisod. So, venue is very, very important in choosing to go hybrid. No? Like say for example, what if it's too big of a venue? What if it's too small of a venue? What if it's too far? It's too near? Daghan ka ayoy considerations in choosing a venue. So, um, these are just the top four when you choose to go hybrid. Say, for example, Kamo, why did you chose to go hybrid? Kaya may requirement? Ang tawa ro ba sila? Itawa requirement siya nga dapat hybrid. So that you learn. Is that it? Ah, okay. Sige. Good choice. Sige. So, what are types of hybrid events? I'm just giving you an overview sa general and then unsay applicable pa dito sa school. So first are conferences, definitely, trade show, product launch, graduation ceremony. Um, we actually called it virtual graduation, but since we had a speaker who's also online, so naimo siyang hybrid. But last time, it's already face-to-face, -face, gay live stream lang. But you can actually do, say for example, kanang kalargahon nagid kay siya, nyawa na siya naka, wa siya ka-attend sa graduation ceremony, gusto siya mo attend. You can provide that as an option. Remember in, um, is that ASAP that they have the Zoom participants sa ilang LED? Di ba? Di lang sila gihapon face-to-face ng audience na gihapon sila online audience. And the um, upcoming alumni of FSU, which is on 
May 13, we're going to do it hybrid because um, a lot of alumni can come home. So, they were requesting, pwede ba sa Zoom lang sila, tapos i-flash po sila, ala ASAP, maringana. So, um, that's actually possible with the technology that we have right now. Okay, so hybrid event needs. You can actually identify this amongst yourselves. So, number one is definitely stable internet connection, right? Um, when we started in FSUU with just one computer and one uh, what webcam, what we my Kamo, you're using three cameras right now. We're just using one webcam and we tried to fit five people in one frame. It was very, very difficult. At the same, although the internet, it's internet, no problem. It's just that when you do live stream, di ba? Dili di ay pwede nga kanang kanang karaan ng computer, <laughs> dili na siya pwede kay. Natanong mi, kasi oh, live na, excited na kami mag live na. Pag up, mayong magmakat. So, di ba? It it affects the experiences of your audience. At the same time, it affects the entirety of your event. Kasi gimo kaputol kay more than mangka og engagement, right? So, internet connection is very very important. I also, this is related, pero funny. There's this guy at the start of the pandemic, and then he gave us um, a webinar on, I forgot the, I forgot his topic. But in the middle of his talk, he got cut. Nga naman, mobile data naman niyang gigamit. So, nahot siya mobile data. So, naputol siya. Unya, na siya disorius. Kaya nang, you know, marabag, Pwede mo kita siya makonek sa Wi-Fi and things like that. So, sometimes, siguro atong panahon kay, di pa kay, alien pa sa ito, oh, but really, going online, it's internet, no? Di li pwede nga mobile data lang kay, that's why, nagi, na operative word nga, stable. Di li pwede, kay, kami gani, we're doing this for um, a couple of years now, naman ah, gani, gina-check mo gina ang stream health, no? Kung taas ba siya, mupula na gani, nam hadlock kami, kasi hapit na may maputol, so, it, you have to have a stable internet. Um, another is social media moderator. Why? Um, because your event, of course, this is streamed in your, um, is it the HRM page? No? So, so anyhow, sige, so why social media moderator? Because, namagay um, audiences nga mag spam mag sinamok mag binastos ana gani so you think na okay na kay mal malapsa na na siya no you have to have a social media moderator because your audiences are not just face to face na may online so remember ang giingon ni mambam nga um, sometimes we don't comment but sometimes we do even my god students dito mag chika mag Ah, unsa unsa ni group chat? Ragana ba no? So okay ra kung they're like respectful and honest and nice comments about the program pero if it's like you know like spamming lang yod. So you have to have a moderator to check on those things kay especially kami in the is it my mic? We're manning the um the social media page of the university. So dili pwede nga like magbinastos. So you have to have someone who's very fast, you know, kanang abti kay makabasa, abti kun mo decipher nga kanidi ni pwede, kani pwede, kani di pwede. Another is, especially if you have like the socials, di ba kung tanatag na yung maglive sa kumu ba na, sa kumu use your cellphone naman no, pero pag na yung maglive stream, kanang mga sa mga comments, you can use uh, Vmex socials for that, so, napat, kantigo po kaon sa nga mga comments ang imong ipang flash. Um, another is platform subscription, so, of course, Facebook still is number one in terms of reach. So, mogit siya ang uh, chosen nga uh, um, social media platform nga dito ta mag live. Another is YouTube, is also good. Kami, we have very, very small followers sa YouTube, kidim naman siya ginagamit, but it's a very good repository of all the videos and all the lives. Dali na kayo may maka, makapangita, kaya naman dito tanan. And of course, Zoom. Zoom is still number one because. Google and Microsoft na sila yung mga limitations. With Zoom, um, kung kita lang, individual, about 45 minutes, maputol. Pero if you got a premium Zoom, um, what you can do is actually have a webinar with 100 participants. Kung gusto ka 500, that's another fee. If you want a Zoom webinar, na nga na Zoom webinar account nga, 
ang isa ka room dito ang mga speakers and then ang isa ka room na dito mga participants so dili ma disturb ang mga speakers so kung naa kay pangutana dito ra ka sa chat dito ra siya sa mga messages mo gawa so for big events zoom webinar is key i forgot to mention canva is also very very important you say nagamit ay canva wala na pay naka powerpoint <laughs> Canva is the way to go, you know why? Because um, it's an effective tool for collaborating. When you do hybrid events, you need collaboration. Like say, for example, what about if na mo talk nga, you have a speaker online and then you have a speaker nga face-to-face. -face, and nag-share sila o presentation. O sige, ikaw na po, para magkabig interactive, no? So with Canva, they can collaborate. He or she can input on siya mga topics, siya po, ano, so... Um, Ang kadaot lang is Canva is also internet-based. So you can only use it if you have stable internet connection. Kung wala, then might as well download to PDF. Wala well, siya mga animation, pero ayun mo pag-animation kay, di na nauso ka um, Also, if you use your education account, or use that edu.ph, mas daghang kuan, daghang libre, compared sa kanang um, the usual free, so kami, kami ha, kami or use na ganit me. We're just using education account and we're good, I think. Um, another is sponsors if applicable. Why? As because as I've said, mounting an event requires expenses, no? So if you can get someone, can you sponsor or like this? It could be an X deal, it could be a uh, promotion. Say for example, pag break ninyo karon, ipakita nilo yung mga logo or nabas live video ng gusto ninyo i a flash or a flex and up na siya. even your live stream diba if this is the i can only imagine if this is the screen na there is always a mga logo sa sponsor or logos in your organization you can actually do that because um, a lot of a lot of people would want to be promoted online no even local businesses and local suppliers but make sure that they're getting the most out of their sponsorship no like say for example um it's important that you grow your page. In our case, I actually forgot um, pila ang followers when we started, but now we have 40,000 followers. So, mas as tas kita nga mong reach compared so uh, other pages sa uh, university. Excuse me. Of course, you have to have a technical staff. So, Sir Morris is our technical guy. He's our all-in-one. So, he does the streaming, the layout, the... Um, producing videos, etc. So, not everyone has that skill. I'm telling you. Diba? Amen. Kasi, gabi kayo ka hilig into tech dire. Hands up. Wala. <laughs> but, it's important to know these things, right? Because, inun talang, you will become um, event directors in the future. You have to know how tech works. No? Kay para. So, when you design your event, you can have that as a consideration. Nganong kaniman, nganong diliman kani atong gamiton, nganong kani, etc., etc. So, technical is very, very important. Um, when we mount events, we don't say that it's just me or it's just him or it's just our moderator. It's really a team of people mounting these events. Another is audio lights personal. May hayag rock ayun eh, pero sige na lang. Basin kay, ngit-ngit man ang, okay ra chilo joke ra. Ngit-ngit man good ang ABR. Um, I'm telling you, ba, we, have a, we have a studio at the SEO. Ang mato sa dito, hindi ito yung kiniki makaputi. That's actually the lights, no? Hindi kinas laputi in person, I'm telling you. But, parang nang gingon nila, di ba? Motambo ka sa TV, magwapa ka sa TV. It's really the lights. Let there be light, di ba? Kay, um, kung wala na siya diha, sus ginoo ko, pwede na akong ngit-ngita na itong pag-go, di ba? So, light is very, very important. Okay? Um, Kanagani mag live selling lang, napang gay ring light, di ba? So, it is very, very important. Kanab, as isa rin ang nag online class ka nagpalit pag yung ring light. Grabe, na ah. Katong gamay titot no, kanan na katawa, feel ako naka relate. Di ba namin ka nabalig yung agamay lang no? Because it's very, very, makita man sa mata, di ba kayo mo reflect. But really, light is very, very important, especially for big events. Kani ganing agamay na kayong ABR, nagitay suga, kung sa pakahaog gym. Because usually, the light, separates us from the background. Let me ask the TV. Um, when you do this, I actually forgot to put set design. This is, this is nice, no? Hindi natin nga touch. Because, naman mo din eh. Pero kung ako, nagtan ako sa, sa, sa manailang ko, 
Dapat wa na din ha? Dapat wa. nga na. Because truly, if you want a seamless event, it should also be nindot online. Basically, ingana na siya. So, what we do when we do set design, okay, pila ka buok atong guest, ingani, so dili pa ego, so adjust na to, ilis na to ang chairs. Okay, kanis siya murag, naku sa tanahon, sa so, ato na siya ipotang dito sa ila. It really matters, no? The placement, the everything, matter na siya. At the same time, um, say for example, okay na FSU, that's good branding. I don't know how this looks online because I haven't checked kahina kayong wifi. Um, another is, of course, audio. You had microphone problems. But really, during tech run, ang watong gidapat ninyo is ipatry yun, no? Kaya mas wala na on. Because sometimes, uh, what we do is, the mic is on and then we just mute it. Nga naman, kay usahay, naka-live me, nga pag-end sa live, nagsipag story na dumog pa sa live. Namin mga na mga, <laughs> mga sayop katong bago pa lang me when we were also starting. But now, pag umay mute sa parbalag, mag yaw mo din na din mo madungog. So, kay basi na siya yung nga di mao niya, nadungog pag hapon. So, no, things like that. So, paging ani, always make sure that it's on. At the same time, always make sure nga dili po low bat. Another is host or the facilitator. Dika kay may facilitator no, in fairness. But I, I get it because basi nagbahin-bahin mo sa inyong mga roles. But always, always, this is the number one, ha? especially even face-to-face, -face, online and hybrid events. Your host should match your event. Unsa pa sabot? Nakatisting na mig host nga. Grabe, ka seryoso sa ngatan nga. Kung pwede pala na ako i-stick, gitikitikon ngayon ako siya. Pala, smile po dahil gamay, sir. Kaya mag serious gigayo. Kaya kung serious ka kaayo, makatulog. Makatulog mag face to face. Ano sa pagkas online, no? But naapon, grabe ka formal sa event. Pero ang <laughs> speaker, ang <laughs> host, makatawin ko muna na, O oh, diba? <laughs> as up, showtime. Ano sa mga ringan na ba? So, kinahanglan. So, if you're chosen as host of a particular event, you always ask, is it a formal event? Diba? Kaya usahay gani, ang atong tanawang, ato nung sanina, kung mo match ba tao, ba ta ni, camouflage, or too formal, or, kung sa babat, ang language, ang tone, no? Kinahalan, importante na siya, those are very, very, it's a make or break, no? That's why, when we do, um, is it agape, no? The novelty show, mangita gid may mga tao, nga bibo, lingaw, nga naman, kay, the novel, novelty show is a fun event, right? But if it's a seminar, a webinar, a Mindanao Peace Conference, ay, di ka makatawa di ha. It's not, it's not that kind of event. So a host is a make or break. But at the same time, uh, just a, just a, si Ugin Hawa sa mic, sorry. If you're hosting a hybrid event, you have to monitor the live. Like say, for example, si Miss Games Gaina, sorry, I didn't get your name. The So by the way, the wheel of names, ha? Huh? It's not a game. It's a raffle platform. So, um, pwede kitsa masulti, oh, naapa din ha si isa to nakadaog. Kana nga na gani. So that you become interactive with your audience. We just don't do it for the sake of doing it, but it's for engaging your um, viewers. Ako na i-mention later. And then, of course, you have to have a director, just like anything else. Ang director, huwagin siya ang mag-set the tone. Okay, ang ani, ang ani itong buhaton, mo ni ang... Kinsa inyong... Kay, I, I've seen that all of you are event facilitators. Who's the main guy? Kinsa man? Kinsa man? I, I, siya. Ah, ako itong nag-intro gay na. Ah, okay, so... That's good. Kay lisod ka ayo ko ang director mo po'y nag-host. Di ba? Kay ko lang lang, Huy, ang kuan eh, kuan na. Lain sa't kayo, no? So, kinahanglan, when you're given a role... Stick to your roles, no? Trust your people. Because, because never, ako personally, never sa tulog katuig sa SEO nga nag-host. Wagi ko nag-host. Tarag ko pa may sa backstage kay I would never do that because how can I function if I don't see everything that's happening? No, especially in hybrid, you have to monitor the online, you have to monitor the face-to-face, -face, you have to check if the cameras are working, the lights are working, the mics are working, and things like that. And sometimes, napagyoy changes in the program, no? Okay, please welcome our speaker from Zoom. Nyo, pa siya naka-online. Because, why nagtanaw, no? It's very, it's very, very difficult 
nga hybrid kay daghang kay kagtan awonon at the same time um, it's also very important kung unsaon pud nimo pag design no we we'll go to that later design your event that it becomes engaging for everyone so i sorry i stress Maayong hapon. Sige. Apit na ba ko sa time? Dalo na na ako, promise. Wala na update akong Canva. So, um, entertainment suppliers, what do we mean by that? If it's a hybrid event, you have to have people who will entertain. Okay nang you have games. But if it's like a variety show type, so napat na po kay dancer, na ba mo kanta? Because again, entertainment is also the life of everything. Di ba? Para na, dili po kay monotonous, na po tayo look forward. Especially, like, I, I've noticed, there is so orious, pag musayo na gidang dance company, wa, murag yung, mabibog gidang all. Murag yung nga na ba, murag yung na look forward gid siya, or murag yung, nahirigid ang energy, nga vibe, nga yung ma-feel when somebody performs. So, I actually added there, cameraman, very, very important. Nga no, say, for example, hindi na akong magsutikin sa, pero, <laughs> na, um, the thing about doing it online, say, for example, Oh, di ba kung concert? Oh, sabay naman kayo sa kanta ko. Charot. Maana, di ba? Pag maana ang artista, kung sa'yo mo makita sa TV, ang audience, right? Because it will show the interaction. Nga, binabag yun ito bag? Or na, may tanong sa concert, basin siya ragid na, di ba? So, ing ana po, when we do hybrid events, nga po, na ako'y pangutan on, ang camera magsunod-sunod na siya, no? Maraki siya sa lida, basically. Mabito lang, In an event, you have to have a cameraman. With this one, kay simple raman siya, gamay raman, stand by atong cameras. Pero kung mula ka o kuanchilo, imo kong apson. Kay, kung dilik ko niya apson, sa online, siya ang istorya da, tingog naman lang, ano may tao. E nga nang may tabo. Gets ninyo? So somebody has to look at all of these things. Kay na may cameraman, audience, mwang, ano na yung, ha, ano sa to? Murang magkuhan, bear witch. Karaan kayo ko, no? Bear Witch Project. Kaya nang, mura ko, nagtanang, oh, horror ba nga? Pagpan sa camera, nye, nga naman, nye, what's? Nasigig. Because, the thing is, promise, kung mga cameraman mo sunod, sa inyong kinaboy, before mo mag-adwit, mga sinamang event nga ka mo yung cameraman, hinaya lang. Hinaya lang ang atong transition. Maging maging tag-reels, di ba? Di naman kayo nga, what's that to? Di ba? Kaya naman magipun nga na yung mga momentum, na ay, Hinahinay hina yung pag-shift-shift. Ayaw ka litapod kay lahat siya tanawon. Especially kung kita diri, okay raw yung problema. Pero online, it's not the same experience. Okay? Okay ba ba so far? Gets ra? Diyan kayo ko pas-pas. Yun. So, why do events? Aside from it's a requirement sa inyong course. But in general, first, content is king. What do you mean by that? Um, if you choose to do events, because I've been doing events in Oryo since I was still a staff. So, ang, ang tinood gita na is, oh, nga nung karat, oh, sorry, sorry, sensitive kay ko. Um, unsay katuyuan sa imong event, right? Di ba? Dili pwedeng, eh, magkuanta, kaya nang mag, basta maghi mo lang, gunta, magkantakanta da din ha, or magmukbang ta di ha, o niya, atong ilive. The question is, for what? No? Sama, sama sa mga bata, karabotan ni mga bata. Kung sa'yo gusto ni mo, trabaho, pagdako ni mo, YouTube vlogger. Wow. Career naman na yun, akaroon ko, <laughs> kabalo. Di ba? Nga naman. Because they think it's the easiest way to earn money. No? Basta magduwa lang ko di ha, mag-shoutcaster lang ko, wanan, makakita lang ko kwarta. But, always, always, content. Unsa man, unsa man nga content. Kung si Tony Gonzaga ka, sikat naman siya daan, or si Alex Gonzaga ka, or si Vice Ganda ka, or whoever you are, na kay following ka, artista man ka. Pero kung di ka ilhado, it doesn't necessarily mean that someone will ka naging mag-live ka sa imong Facebook, be, pila may viewers. Ing nakog-labot baka 100. Di ba? Because, again, 
um, why should I watch your live? No, or what should, why should I participate? Say, for example, with your event right now, because it's the trend, no, to have to do hybrid events. So it's actually timely, especially for students. But since you're posting this on Facebook, actually everyone can watch your um, um, your event. You can even watch it later. Kung gusto ma refresh or recall. So always, always you start with content. Para unsa man, no? Unsa man ang um, I'm going to share this with you. When we started with on the sunny side. Are you familiar with On the Sunny Side? Oh, wow. Malami avid viewer diri. Charot ng kan. Salamat. On the Sunny Side, um, because when we took over the FSU page, um, all we're doing was posting enrollment, assessment, new LMS, cha And Father Kiss was saying, um, our interactions are very flat, no? Mutubag lang tana. Mahimus yung tag live show. Kaka nang makapangutan na mga sujanti, mga. Oh my God. In our mind, Oh my God, that's, that's going to be a disaster. Ngano man kay very best in reaction ba kay mga students, no? Grabe, di ba? Say yes kung if you can relate, di ba? Asa naman akong koan? Asa naman akong password? Asa naman adlaw? Baya mo kasi sa kongkwasi? Ano ba yan? So, nag-ulgid me when we started. So, okay. On the sunny side. So, ang branding was, we talk about the positive side of things. Mo ng sunny side. And then, uh, let your light shine. Manang Oreo, so ana. So, when we started, we talk about assessments. Kaya nga nung dagan kayong assessments, kung saan ba sa password? Kaya first, first man to sa first time sa online, di ba? And then, nadugay, hmm, wala yung mutan. Okay, kapoy naman sa story about assessments. So, we tried shifting, no? Um, I was thinking, what about we talk about things that students wants to talk about, no? Mental health, self-care. Love, love. Just pag love, love. Grabe dyan. Like everybody is excited. Mga love, labels, and whatever. Basta may nga na muna mo mga top ng mga episodes. So, that's the time we realized na, okay, for you to be engaging, always, always think about this. It's not going to be about yourself. Okay? If you're from a perspective ba nga, you're giving service, you always have to think, unsa may ganahan nila? Unsa may ganahan sa mga sudyante? Unsa may mga kanang mga sudyante nga ganahan sa kanang makarelate sila? We even have an episode on Hallyu, di ba, ng Korean wave. And to tell you honestly, I think that was last year or two years ago, I had no idea. Kaya di mo kumunta ng K-drama. So, may kakapoy. May kakapoy ko magbasa. But because we had that episode, I had to watch. Pinakawin ako kita now is, of course, crash landing on you. So, when I watched it, nakarin ko, ay, nindot di ay. Muna yung nagkay maadik, nagkay ganahan, huwag na adik na rin po ko. So, basically, when you do something, always, especially with content, do your research, no? Um, di ba, mo tayo emphasize po sa my sigayin. Research is very, very important. Everything that you do from this moment forward, you have to have data, no? You have to have data to support. Nga muna, nga nung kaniman, nga nung kaniman, nga nung kana. So, muna siya, okay? Another is, program design should follow event objectives. So, if this is, it's interactive, so that's why ing ani. Pero, kung gusto mo nga, ay, one na straightforward, wala yung pangutana. So, siyara, i-record na nato siya, i-dress sa studio, mag-story na siya, that's it. So, ang design sa inyong program, depende kung unsa inyong gusto ma-achieve. Okay? So, it's always like that. And lastly, I'm saying this, even if the talk is about hybrid, but hybrid is not always the way to go. In as much as virtual is always not the way to go. Okay? It's an option, but dili necessarily, what if wagig kay camera? Diba? Or what if wakay Zoom account? Asa man yung muslebo tang? Sa Google, at least libre. Pero, dili parehas ang functionalities, no? So, it's not always the answer to everything. Okay? Pero, it's a good option. Next, so what to prepare for hybrid events? You have to market the event, no? I, I saw your poster, I think it was posted um, a few weeks ago or a week ago. Kay... Sayang man, nga nung nga mag-market man ka, sayang ang inyong kahago sa pag-mount aning nga event, nga kamura po yung nagtanaw. Di ba? Sa tawa siya. Tinuod kita mo, naging, Jesus, kakapoy na ba? Di ba? Nag naging ngani pa mo, inyo pa nang ikarga, bugot pa na. Di ba? Nag-set up pa mi. <laughs> Di ba? So, tira ba aircon ang control room? So, all of these things, 
it should, kumbaga, nana siya to me, that there's a value to it, no? Kung labi sa mga kadungog sa ako karun, nana'y value ana. So, importante kayo that you market your event as such nga. We tanaw mo ani na may makatunan. Especially, nowadays, that there's a lot of content online, di ba? Maglibog na kita sa tamutan sa TikTok ba, sa IG Reels ba, sa Stories ba. Ay, kadagahan kayo ato i-maintain. So, kinahanglan, di ba? As I've said, you have to have a good content, but you also have to promote it. Another, registration. So, two things. You have to decide, bayad ba siya or di ba siya bayaran? Kung magbayad po, para asa man ang bayad. But, when you do your registration, make it in Google Forms. Why? Did you do it? Sa katong comment ka ron, matunay will of names. Very good, guys. Nga naman, because you can also gather data, right? So, all of this information, ayun yun yung nasaya nga, no? Even when you do Google Forms, jump lang ko gaan. When you do evaluation, Google Forms is the way to do it. Diba? Even in your research, if you want to gather data, Google, for, <laughs> Google Forms is the way to do it. It's easy, it's accessible anytime, and date, ang, ang importante is the data that you gather from Google Forms, gamitan ninyo to your advantage. Ayaw po siya nga. Mga siya papel rapod nga, nagsulat lang, no, gamitan ninyo. Okay? And a Zoom account, it's very, very important. Um, how to navigate Zoom is also another thing. A uh, social media page, by the way, if you do live events, no, dili pwede nga ang inyong page, patay siya sa tibog tuig, no? kahit magkabanhaw sa Easter Sunday, dili pwede nga na. You have to keep it engaging. No? Because that's how, that's what we did. No? Para sa ako, ang among, one of our <laughs> success stories is that di lang kayo magsigil ang mag-post yung announcements, napon may live, napon may post yung mga videos, etc. By the way, I'm inviting you to Submit on the Sunnyside Shorts. We did this because a lot of our students have so many things to say and they want a platform to do it and we'd like to share the FSU page to you guys. So you submit a one-minute video about yourself, about what you do, about what you eat. Ambot ka muna bahala ang sayang gusto i-submit. I-submit, I'll post my email ad later. Kakita mo sa pater. Nasa kayo sa Pueblos. So mo tinan, uri yan pater. They're very, very amazing at what they did and sikat kay si Pater from that time on. Sunod is of course technical rehearsal. Nga nung mag technical rehearsal man because ingnon ta lang bisag pag one year na mo nag prepare something will um, not work on the day itself. Kati si ka pila example the mic, di ba? Ngon man itong mic gyud mo tingog or something like that. So ang technical rehearsal at least na may 99% chance of getting it right on the day. Kung sa manang 1%, to the things that we can control, di ba? Kung nag-brown out, covered ba ang AVR sa genset? Kumusta man itong hybrid diha? Di ba? Or, somebody got sick, di ba? Or, nangaguba ni, kabi no, kabi no, nangaguba ni mga lights or camera or di ka live, kaya wata internet. Although, sa Oreos, natay tulong ka provider, so, Muna confident kayo yung mag-live kay kung wala ni, napay duha. Kung wala ni, isa na lang yun. O pero mapaw ng tibok kalibutan ng SEO, di lang yun mawagan o internet. Labi na ko nag-live. So, na yung mga prioritizations ngayon nga na. So, again, di ba? Practice makes perfect. So, that's why we do technical rehearsals. And when you do technical rehearsals, um, don't act as if, ayo, oh, ingani, ingani. No, you, 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 do, you do the whole thing. No, Iran, Gidsiya, etc. Oh, niya ko mo comment sa inyong kuan gay na. Sige. So, these are some of the things that we did nga which work for us. Kani on the scary side, one of our top grossing episode. Kay about sa actually the ghost who live and the ghost who stay. Ang among topic gyud ani is about ang mga wakwak diri sa Oreos. Kumo mo mo nay wakwak diri sa Oreos? Kinsay nay gabi nga klase ta man last night, Kita na mo wakwak? Wala pa? Gusto mo makita? <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny, funny story. We have an electrician, Sinong Choi, and when he retired, of course, when you retire in Oreo, you give a speech, and siya nga, dito din niya, gisulti ang tanan siya nga. Actually, tingnan, huwag may wakwak di istoryos. Ako nang istorya kay para mahadlok, mga susanti, mangulig sa'yo, kay para mamaong nakugsuga. Grabe na mo pang atawa. That was the electrician. But actually, taghan kay stories, ano nga, nang gawas, mga CR, sa mga Pero mas daghag story sa love love ang mga wakwak daw sila mga kinabuhi ang mga the ghosting ang mga wala sila baliki wala nagpakita Jesus Christ mo nag 
Um, that's the thing about um, kanang content creation bitaw. Sa imong unahon na mura ni, pero pag labog ni muna sa imong audience, masyak lang ka, ay, pwede na siya bali o, no? pwede na siya napo siya lang take. So, it, it becomes very, very interesting. Again, this one is also um, about laws. And true enough, nagid po yung mga tao nga interesado sa ilang rights. Lado is kani love labels and cupcakes. Karun pa ko nga, Diba sa Facebook, in a relationship, in a complete, karong daghan na kayo na pa'y benching, na pa'y ambot, di na ko ka-keep up. Grabe na ko katiguwang. <laughs> I feel so old. Saka nagkag labels sa kalibutan. And then, um, kwentong kantahan, um, what we did with this one is, he's in Manila, so, more siya, hybrid-ish. And I think those are just one of the, and, di ba, nindot po among posters care of Sir Murray. So, when you promote something, you create these things. No, dapat nindot siya, it's nice, di po siya, overcrowded kaayo, and then try to post it at least a week before your actual event. So, I'm almost done, right? Sorry. Hybrid event goals. An overarching goal for all hybrid events is to engage as many attendees as possible, however they may be participating. Because I've said, ayaw saya nga inyong kahago. So, invite people on-site and online para mas maximum reach. Another, it allows people to connect in person if they want that human connection experience. You should have seen the first face-to-face -face graduation. Murag, ang mga tao, murag kahilakun. Na yung murag mga... Ah! Ang mga pagkita nila sa duha katuig. Ganang, grabe yun ang emotions, bitaw. Murag nag-urus-urus and mamis ka. And these things makes us happy, di ba? As humans, no? Kay dili man na siya mapiki, bitaw. No? These emotions... And it's one of the reasons why we do events, right? We want to convey something and we want to uh, get a reaction in return. Another, it's also, it also allows individuals who otherwise would not have been able to attend due to a health concern or travel constraints. So, flexible. If it's hybrid, it's really flexible. Now, my classmate nga, oh, sige, online na lang mo tanaw. Wala, siguro, no? Kaya, grado, no? So, <laughs> ang uban here is ang online mo tanaw. Masin na po yung ba? The goal is to make the experience equally riveting for both groups. I, I admire the game master. Kaya na game online, napigid siya game offline or on-site. Pero, kung naghan ng tagwarta, we can have kahoot. Remember sa Edotech? Gitsa po sa mga kahoot. Oh my God, I'm so old. You can post a game there and everyone who has a connection can answer. You just give them the code. So, pwede gid siya nga online o on-site, pwede sila ma-answer na magkita na ni mo kinsay mo dao, kinsay nga na, pero na siya bayad. Hindi siya libre. So, pwede siya nga na. But I think there are also other platforms that you can use kung gusto ni mo isahon bitaw ang experience. Dili lang kay. Kaya ma-stress mo ka, mag-monitor pa kinsay daog diri, yung daog put sa pikas. Another, by reducing the barrier to entry, hybrid events provide opportunity for even more people to interact with your content and your brand. I even see sometimes nga uh, sa kanang analytics bitaw on your page if uh, who among you here manages your page you can actually see kani mo tanaw sa ato sa Qatar basin mga mama no ilang mga anak nga inspired sa Orius na as far as the Middle East or US nga na pali mo tanaw hi i'm from like this like that di mo mitag asawa no honon ha but di kana di li afam but basically tungod of you know breaking the barriers because we're online the world is our audience. So, what are the keys to success? One event, two experiences. So, it's good. Okay, tadiri. Murag mata pamantan. Okay, natulog. But we have to check also pa hard sa mga online kung mata papabod sila, papabod sila nakatulog. Because, um, kung sa kaklaro diri, mupun na nakaklaro. Wasin, di ba, mula kami sa wala mo na audio day online. So, someone has to monitor as well. Length of sessions. Not too long. No? The average, sa una, wapay pandemic, 45 minutes ang attention span. Karon, 6 minutes na lang daw. Can you imagine? I'm even glad nga, naminaw pa mo, but usually yung anak, because we are, pwede magkita mo tanong sa social media, tato sa itong Twitter, or whatnot. And it's also best to have games and giveaways. Katong, what is it? Edu, take off. Saka mo ito ang pinakalites. Magdagan-dagan, no? We Filipinos are sucker for free things, right? Agree? Ako mo, agree, Gigo. Even kasi Pacific, mo apil mo ikaw na mga contest. Ay, ang mangod. 
Mga char-char ng mga question. But you see, uh, remember, kamo kay HRM man mo and tourism, sa una, ginasaway na si Bo Pacific, sa man sila, yung pakontest man sila nga, matug naman ang mga tao ng urasa, dapat din sa magsamok-samok. Pero karun, naghanay mo appeal, kay, wala, makadawat ka, baw na nan, butang na sa tubig, butang sa charag din hindi na masama. And it's also good promotion. So, sometimes, you can actually do the other thing. Um, kay ang palmang good, sorry, ako palog si Bo Pacific, Okay, super serious, super kuan, but ang ilaham rag fun. They want to inject fun. So, depende na siya sa kung sa'yo gusto ninyo mahitabos yung event. Another is create a community. So, the data that you got from your Google form, you can create a group. No? Nga dito mo mag-update. O na ingayin po na itong event, kung sa'yo gusto mo appeal, kung sa'yo nga na. So, use your data. Basin wala mo ka ba nga, you have like-minded individuals, you're into events, into photography, into food, or whatever. Okay, I also, I forgot to tell you, um, you have to have someone who will document the event. Kaya uban, ay kagul kay naka-live naman na siya, so hindi na picture. No, you should still take pictures kay Dili man na makita sa tanan sa live. Okay? And, oh, thank you for listening. Napaisa. Sorry. Balik sa. Okay. Very important. Remember in your mics, namino ko sa inyong mics, nindot kayo yung speaker. Um, KPIs. So, Evaluation. For online, for face-to-face, -face, pero may kumakata na, okay ra mo, na may nakatunan. Be, kasi hands up, kinsay na yung nakatunan. Kanyang sa ako lang, ha? Isa ra ka buok? <laughs> ah, nadi ay. O, ito ay nakatunan sa ating karumbitaw. So, na yung nakatunan. But, the, the thing about doing things online also, is that you can use your analytics, your insights. Ako, I always do that. Ay, kanina gamay rin ni Tanaw. Kanina gamay rin ni Tagaasa ni Tanaw. Pilang unsa edad, tagaasa. Ano, gani? Why? Because it will help you with your decision making. Siguro, pag humanaan niyo yung event, kinsa inyong page uh, moderator. Tag-iya sa inyong page. Kinsa? Ikaw? Hindi ko gusto magsaba nga ikaw. <laughs> so, Tanaw ah. Tanaw mo ninyo kung asa inyong reach, pilang na Tanaw, tagaasa. Ano? Because this will help you decide Buhatan pa ba nato ni sunod sem? Buhatan pa ba nato ni sunod tuig? O kakapoy-kapoy lang ta? No? Or unsa may mga butang kaya nato improve But, aside from analytics, you can also use your Google form, no? Ibutang niyo na sa last. What do you want for us to do next time? Diba kay? It doesn't mean nga kanila nga event. No? Basi na pa mo yung events in mind. Ngayon yung buhaton. So, it's best to do that. Okay? Uh, your post-event actions are as important as what you do during the event. Hosting an event means nothing if you don't gain any insights. Make sure to send out a post-event survey to get a sense of which content resonated with people and how your attendees felt about their on-site versus virtual experiences. I even remember the first time I attended a face-to-face -face event in Manila. And in Grafica Manila, it's most artists attend those events. They even have a Spotify playlist. Namoy nga na. It's amazing. Yan ko, sakto tuod no. Because, di ba, when, when the guest comes in, kinahangla, nakaipatukar. Dili pwede nga, dead air. Di ba? Dead air is a no-no. In any event, dead air is a no-no. So, with the Spotify playlist, ilang, aside sa moto, ilang gitukar, what if ganahan day ka, oh, hindi lang mga kanta. Gina-flash nila, on say, names silang, silang playlist, nga pwede niyo makapi sa mga Spotify. And, um, I recently hosted a baby shower of a friend and I, um, Sir Morris gave me an idea nga, pwede man na ikaw mo subscribe sa Spotify for a day. Say for example, sa inyong event ka ron, gusto mo nga na mo yung music while waiting or while nag-break or while nag-games. Kasi siya nag-operate ngayon sa music, arang kasuga. Jujig nga na po galit. Isa pa din, someone has to control your sounds. But the, Sp the Spotify, Diligy, City Pieces Ra, pwede na, the whole 24 hours. Para walay ads. Kasi sa sakay, nag, nagpa-play ka niya, nag, nai ads ni sing it. So, all I'm saying is that daghan na yun kayo, no? Daghan na kayo pwede inject sa imong event to make it more uh, engaging, basically. So, also take a look at your attendees' data during the event. Make sure to follow up with those attendees who attended a lot of sessions, ask a lot of questions, and engage with your sponsors. Because to us, by looking at this data, we're able to develop more effective content, more relatable content, and we become more responsive 
um, to our clients when we listen to them. Okay? So that's about it. Thank you so much again. So that's... This is my number and our local numbers office if you need anything, especially for Ingani. As long as we're available, we can help you mount your events. That's my email. Please submit your shorts. Kaya na may post na si Mana. And then that's our website. Or use that at that page. And of course, kinsa pa yung follow sa page, palihog follow ba sa mong ika 41,000 chok. Sige. And that's my Instagram. Thank you for listening. Good afternoon. Thank you, ma'am, for sharing your na valuable knowledge in conducting hybrid webinars and especially the what we need in conducting hybrid webinars and the key to success. So once again, please give Ms. Vinyas a round of applause. We also would want to remind everyone that all of the all of your questions will be answered later on the open forum. Thank you. And now we may call on Ms. Nice Kalup to introduce the second resource speaker. A round of applause, please. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you, Ms. Host, for giving me the opportunity to introduce our second resource speaker. Okay, so our second resource speaker is currently the Chief Executive Officer at First Global Digifoot Incorpor Incorporation and the Director of Marketing and Business Development at One Corporate Grand Tourism Incorporation. He was also an event technology specialist at Global Filipino Network, an operations manager, business development manager, and senior graphic designer at Franco Photoshop and Allied Services Incorporation. A full-time business incubation manager for one year at Caraga State University, a marketing consultant, multimedia graphic designer, managing director, travel counselor, media relations coordinator. He was uh, he also did freelancing in graphics, layout, and photography. Also, he spent seven months working as a radio DJ at Real Radio FM and was a production manager and TV host at TV5 Caraga. Please help me welcome Mr. L. Sams David Franco. A round of applause, everyone. Hello, good afternoon. Mayong hapon. But I'm happy to be here once again. The last time I uh, I joined uh, FS, uh, FSUU once, uh, Urian, sorry, um, during our roadshow for the incubation and innovation, the startup war with Caraga State University. And I'm glad na meron na tayong incubation center dito. And I see some familiar faces here. Hi, ma'am. Good afternoon. Hi, sir. Ayan, thank you so much for inviting me here. So, medyo nanginginig ako because I'm seeing young people who, who will be sooner or later replacing the faces in the industry. But I'm proud of you guys. So, ayan. Uh, for today, um, I will not be taking so much of your time because I am the last speaker and, you know, um, the, the, the pressure is there because I don't want to take much of your time uh, watching us live on Facebook, on Zoom, or maybe here. So, taas taas na kayo tayo ngayon na Amodria. But, um, this is actually quick, relatable to most of our topics. Pasensya na po sa cameras, ha? Medyo luhagan ko gamay. But I know that there are some limits. Murag diri raman siya ko taman, right? Um, for today, it will be about the mice. Uh, palaging inuulit sa atin yung mice, yung events, the transformation. This is, this is how we lead. And uh, I believe you have this interest in leading the future for this type of industry. So, 
when we say um, leadership, we need to have a lot of time to be equipped and it's going to take a lot of supply. Let us say the essential ones to be capable of, um, you know, running the matter. And of course, kung sabihin naman natin na molding, it takes a lot of time to be exposed to a certain thing. Um, influence, just like you being exposed with your teachers, your peers, kung ano yung nagiging characters nila, that will be your influence and eventually you will become like them, right? So, today, uh, this afternoon, sorry, parang nagsispeech ako for, ano, for graduation. But anyway, this is not about me. This is all about you. And uh, thank you for generously introducing me. Uh, hindi ko expect na ganun kahaba yung introduction. I just wanted to be uh, present, uh, introduced just by my name. Okay lang ba yung microphone ko? But knowing that you are here, knowing that you are watching us live, and knowing uh, you joining us on Zoom, it only shows that you have the interest in leading this industry. And that is why I wanted to ask, how are you today? How are you today? Okay lang. Yan. Because before we get farther, I would like to ask this beautiful question for me because in the hospitality and tourism industry, we we always tend to greet, diba? Mabuhay, welcome. How may, how may I serve you, diba? How may I be of help, diba? Pero, minsan lang tayong tinatanong, how are you? Like, getting into in, deeper conversations sa mga customers natin. Sometimes I do that when I meet my client. When I do meetings with them, I ask them, how are you? Kumusta? Diba? And, eh, it is a conversation starter and for sure, it is not counseling. I just wanted to know, kumusta? And it, also, uh, can, it can also be applied sa mga, sa mga goals natin, sa industry natin. Because there are a lot of things that we can start by just asking, how are you? Well, I believe tayong lahat, or no, I believe mostly, yeah, mostly, uh, one of you or most of you are sharing the cutie thing like iphone lang cutie laptop lang cutie okay joa lang this very 14 cutie or pinaka ma'am pasar lang cutie <laughs> but how about in the future manager lang cutie cabin crew lang cutie these are the things that we are trying to reach, diba? Mga goals natin in life, hashtag goals, right? So, if I may ask five years from now, or if you are going to continue the sentence, five years from now, how do you see yourself? And now we are talking. Diba? Ang dami natin gustong mangyari sa sarili natin. You know, out of the 7,100 plus islands in the Philippines, or let us say the 300,000 plus square kilometers, I shall say, this is, there is only you. There is only one you because you are unique. Because you are unique. No one else. Yan. Unique. Yan. Pasensya na, medyo malayo yung ano namin eh, sa uh, presentation natin. Hindi ako wireless Wi-Fi, pero human connection lang itong ginagamit namin. Anyway, earlier, um, as a starter, uh, I really appreciate the talk of Professor Bam about the mice transformation in both domestic and global perspective. And I can relate a lot, and I would like to take highlight on the message that she said, being resilient, the collaboration, and being adaptable. Because in all aspects that we are trying to be developed on, this really applies. Kung unsa may mahimo ni mong uh, position, unsa may mahimo ni mong career in the future, being resilient, being able to work with the people around you, being collaborative, being able to work with your boss, or being able to work the people uh, next to you are the most essential things. And because of that, in every constant 
change sa industry natin because we are one of the constantly a part of the constantly changing world more the, um, technology is there hospitality and tourism is there and a lot of things are changing because you know everything is constantly changing even yung relasyon niyo constantly changing right well that is actually leading us to the word innovation sa relationship natin we tend to innovate diba every now and then paano ba pakiligin si partner diba so sa, inno- sa industry din natin paano ba pakiligin natin si customers paano ba pakiligin natin yung clients we tend to innovate and you know when covid-19 hit us it turned everything to be challenging it turned to be uncertain and that is why as what i've said innovation comes in innovate the keyword innovate innovative things in order to serve and connect or continue our service when the covid-19 hit us and asked us to do lockdowns diba hindi tayo pinayagan na lumabas sa bahay natin a lot of uncertainties natatakot tayo ang iba nag-enjoy because it's going to be vacation for 15 days another 15 days ang kasunod and another 15 days until naging hindi pa alam kailan magre-resume ang office, ang work, and ang school. That's why industries started to innovate. And isa sa pinakamalaking affected na industry noon is the hospitality and tourism industry. Events stopped. Yung influx ng stor- ang tourist stopped. Lahat tayo nag- nagka-couch surfing sa sariling bahay natin instead of going out, instead of visiting our friends. Because, hindi tayo allowed. Kailan lang ba tayo naging adaptive sa Zoom? Sa TikTok? Sa Instagram? Sa Facebook Live? Diba? Nung panahon lang na yon, mas, mas, na, mas na-understand or na-appreciate ng families or parents natin ang importance ng mga bagay na ito. Ang mama nato, ang papa nato, magsige nag-video call sa so kanatudluan nato. Diba? Tanan na lang natong buhaton, imbis pwede natang mag-meet in person, i-zoom na lang nato. Even our clients, even if na lang may sabutuan, mag-zoom na lang ta. Because we have embraced so much the innovation. And by adopting this, and we are now adopting the change, what can we say? We are loving it, like Makdo, diba? And before we know it, we are regenerating. Because of innovation, we have generated a lot of things. We have regenerated the economy. We have regenerated the events. And we have regenerated our creativity. Just like, for example, Canva, as mentioned ni Ma'am Suzette kanina. They have regenerated. Uh, that was the time they are being challenged of innovation. And now, they have just launched a lot of features. Because of what? Because of the lockdowns and because of the demands like you. And because of that, while our events roll out are getting in every day, it is becoming fab. Ang pageants, dati, projector lang, ngayon, lead wall, head to foot, lead wall, end to end. Seminar lang, lead wall. Uh, yung organizers, I asked, I think it was Sir Mark, I asked kung lead wall ba yung gagamitin natin or <laughs> projection screen because uh, uh, as a speaker, I always ask, uh, the, the technicalities that we are going to use, diba? Pero yun, because of the regeneration of our economy when it comes to events, when it comes to the industry, we have a lot of things to consider. And I may say in tourism also, on, or in our industry, there are more adventures waiting for us. Adventures in work, and adventures in the destinations, and everything is actually an adventure. And they may have launched a lot of events. They may have launched a lot of products in the tourism. Yung mga suppliers natin may have launched a lot of services, innovations, because we have regenerated. And I may say, the future is promising. The future is really promising because currently we can see that we are in, kung nag-change tayo, we are in a pivotal time. In the business, when we say pivot, or sa mga startups, if you are familiar with that, we, 
uh, fam very familiar or ginagamit masyado yung word na pivot because this is our moment to stop or maybe pause to reflect where we have been. Saan nga ba tayo nag-end or saan nga ba tayo nagkulang or asa ta pwede mugdugang? It can be applied in anything, right? Sa friendship, balik naman sa ta, to your partner, di ba? You can also reflect, you can pivot. Kung dili din siya mag-work as a business, then we may pivot, di ba? And, you know, this is our best opportunity or moment to think of um, better things. And this is also the unique opportunity for us to rethink better. That is why this is a beautiful time, the, pivot, the pivotal time. And also our chance to rethink. Dako kayo impact ang COVID-19 sa ato as a person, as the industry, as a professional being, as a student, right? Because tungod sa mga uncertainties nga atong naagihan, daghantag mga reflections and daghantag improvements sa katong character, sa atong relationships. There are families nga mas nag-improve ang ilang bonding. There are friends nga mas nagka-constant ang ilang communication because of the pandemic. Diba? And there are students nga dili ganahan mo skwela before ni graduate na karon because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And those are the opportunities that has uh, emerged during the pandemic. And now, the hailing apps like Grab, for example, ang ilang pinakauna yun nga plano, as I, uh, as I heard that, nga musulod sila sa butuan as a hailing app because they uh, used to have this um, hailing app the here na but during the lockdown, moto ang time nga they have rethink if they are going to use the hailing app or go for the food delivery. Because Food Panda started it and they introduced the, the, the grab here, mas okay di ay. So they use this opportunity to rethink. They have revisited their plans and to see if this is a better perspective for them. And true enough, mas nagsugod sila sa delivery, mas na sila revenue than on the other side, diba? And because of that, their service continued. Wala namatay ang business. That is also one thing that we can reflect on to ourselves or as uh, young professionals. Because sooner or later, you will graduate and you will also have these challenges that you are going to face. And these are the things na pwede na tong makita nga. Chances na to. See that? It became our chances to rethink and to see for a brighter future. And anyone can be part of that. In that includes you. Diba? Sa tanan changes, sa tanan pwede mahitabo sa palibot nato in the industry. You can be part of that. Kinsa yung familiar din sa word na deja vu? Deja vu. What's deja vu? Yes. Diba? Kaya nang familiar, uy! Nahitabo na lagi ni sa ako, murag, murag diri na ko gikan, deja vu. No? It is a sensation that we, very strange or a circumstance na feeling na to, uy, naan naman ni siya, nganong, nganong nahitabo man ni siya balik. So what if we are going to reverse that familiar thing? What if um, imuhang usual nga routine, imuhang nakita nga na may lahi? So, that is what they call vuja day. What I, what I mentioned a while ago are those things that gives us the opportunity to rethink everything. No? To shift, to innovate, and of course, with all those opportunities, we can lead. Vuja day, it can help us manage to have a familiar way of doing business for a fresher perspective. Because this fresh perspective can help us become aware of the opportunities and other possibilities that may happen. Because these are the usual things that are happening to us every day. Makita nato ang mora ni siya ang ginaluto permanente ni ate sa canteen. Munggos nga naisubak nga pinilitong isda. Munggos nga naisubak nga pinilitong isda. And one day you'll ask, Te, pwede ba nga ang imuhang munggos butangan na po nato kamunggay? Gamay. Usual man yung ginahimo, nagluto or man gihapon siya, but you are questioning the process itself that it is just the same thing, but you are just adding up in order to shift. You're just innovating a thing to add, diba? 
And then, butang handa ni Mugmongo plus Moringa is cause more healthy. Sorry lang sa tuhod, dili siya pwede. And because of this, Vuja Day is what we say, the balik-balik thing. Ah, kinsa yung maanoy diri o balik-balik? Koy, bangon na. Sa mga sugo ni Mama, balik-balik. Kinsa yung maanoy diri? Yeah. Di ba? <laughs> Balik-balik helps us a shift for a new perspective. That's an opportunity for us. And katuda ang makakita sa permanenting o balik-balik ng spill ni Mama. It gives us the opportunity to, to, to shift. Pwede man dahi ta makahona-hona o better ways na dili ta maanoy sa giingo ni Mama. So there are careers that awaits us to lead us in the same time that will challenge us to prove your capabilities. That's Vuja Day. Our key word today is actually mice, and I will have some words that I'm going to play with mice. And with this, um, there are some concepts, di ba, nga pwede na to ma-enhance because of this balik-balik thing. And today, the industry is actually slowly embracing the learning cult culture in order for us to sustain the organization and the industry that it's itself is evolving. Gautro siya. Pero gabalik-balik ang imuhang routine, And if you are going to ask, unsay imong pwede mahimo, syempre na kay ma critic kay balik-balik man. Ingon pa sa kong friend, I ask him, unsay imong pinaka qualification in hiring uh, sa business? Kay karon na may mga ka mga ka circle nga naghimog business there sa Butuan because we are the young entrepreneurs nga circle. Um sa naga consult me from each other. Kay mga 30s below pa man mga uh, business owners. So, kapangutan namin, unsa yung mga, mga qualification kay mahal, kinahanglan ba yun? Mag-trending ba yun? Mag must be college graduate with experience. Ana. So, when I post some kanang hiring ko and materials, I always put there in good character or character. For me, character really matters, no? More than the, the bachelor's degree, more than the, the degree that you, uh, you gained. For four years, character really matters for me. And nung tanda ko sa iya ha, unsay mas gusto ni mo sa isa katao when you interview them. Aha, ako sa yun ra. Gusto ko tapulan. Why? What do you think is the reason nga nung tapulan ni hang gusto? What? Yes, wise. Ang mga tapulan mangita sila ng pamaagi ng mas musayon ang process, right? Tapulan are actually the innovators. So, na natin bagong tawag sa tapulan. ba? Diba? Ayan na siya, sugua ka, innovator na siya. <laughs> diba? Mas dilik siya sakit, pero actually, it's a creative way of telling them that they have their own process of the balik-balik thing. Because, admit it or not, ta kita karon sa atong generation, siya, nakijoin sa yung generation. Bitaw, sa atong generation, kapuyan tag mga balik-balik, right? We want surprises. We want a new way to engage. We want a new way to express things. We want to disrupt the process, right? Dili ta gusto nga mao na lang sad ni permina lang, de ba? So you want new things. That is why. So while making my presentation, I as I actually revised my presentation thrice. Kay nagunaw na ako sa audience because na the next question I'll answer Mark was there are actually 50 students nga naasap. Sa hall. And then she, he mentioned that na, na Arabay na sa Zoom, sir. So I was actually thinking, how can I engage these participants online? Nga dili man ako sila mamit. Di nila makita ang akong ka sumol. Diba? Kay balik balik akong naong. I don't know kung naka familiar mo, pero balik balik yun akong naong sa ona sa karaga kontra COVID. Ayan. So our first mice karon is. Ma mice maayo. Ayan. <laughs> mice maayo. This is the keyword for today. Mice maayo. Ayan. And the it, <laughs> in this time of fast-paced world, we can lead to be the catalyst of change, de ba? Sa una permanente tama ka dulo o ngano di makamamino sa kung mastiguang mangko sa imuha. But today, but today the elderly or let us say the seniors in the industry, those who are we say the technologically challenged nga mga seniors na mo sa trabaho, mas muingon sila, diri na siya kay bata, mas maayo kay bata. Diba? Kung may yun, yung mama, kini siya, mas maayo kay bata. Diba? 
So, there is actually an advantage of being part of this circle. Mas mga bata. Because of the fast-changing world, mas ginapangita na karon. Sorry, ma'am, ha? <laughs> Pero, mas ginapangita gyud, di ba? As producing, while producing our students, mas ginapangita gyud nila karon na sad ang fresh graduates. Nga man, mas daghan mang gudog innovation nga makontribute, especially sa bago nga mga kultura sa industry. There are certain corporate um, organizations nga mas, mas priority nila ang mga bata i-hire not because of the wisdom. Because whether we like it or not, mas daghan mang gitag makuha sa nai experience nga mas senior sa ato. But this time mang god, our age levels or your age levels are actually um, adventurous. Mas daghan mong experience nga wala na experience sa ahead of you. Right? Tinood dili. Oh, mas daghan mo og wala na storya nga adventure. <laughs> Lahi sa kinatawan, oh. Mas daghan mo og wala na storya nga adventure, pero magamit ninyo sa inyong real world nga pag panarbaho. Ayan. Another thing is that mas maayo mang guning bata because they will foster the love in learning. Mas kugihan pata mo katon, mas kugihan pata mo mo generate og ideas because the, as the future leaders in the hospitality and tourism industry which is really promising well your chosen path i actually daghan naghulat ng mga opportunities sa inyo ha but we just need to capitalize on that that we know how to embrace the changing world kay kung mapag-iwanan tayo Sorry na lang. Because paspas kid ka ayo ang introduction sa technology. So, number one is that the love of learning. Let us develop a passion of continuous learning and personal growth. Being up to date in the industry gives us the advantage. Mabitaw na nga, mas nakanabitaw ang ginaingon sa itong mga uh, ginikanan nga, may man siya kay nakahibalo manggod siya. May manggod siya kay insider manggod siya mo, nang dali ra siya nakasulod. Because there is actually advantage sa mga tao nga mas nakahibalo ta kung unsay naguna. That is why we read news. Kung kabantay mo ang uh, mga tycoons or mga business people, mas na appreciate na nila mo basa og news. And uh, when I when I reach the level of 30s, 30s, dito na ako na appreciate nga ha, in running the business that I have to koan, I have to learn reading news that I I need to update myself. I need to update of myself by reading books, literatures, Uh, post on Facebook that are actually more than the memes. Update kung unsaon na pagpadaga ng business. Why? Because if maulahi ka, mabiyaan ka sa mga bagong tubo. If you can see, for example, as a photographer, na naatay ka ng trends, di ba? If dili ka mo sabayan ng trend kay magpabilin ka ani ng concept ni mo, eventually, ma-left behind ka. Yes, you are good at that. But after, what's next? Yes, maayo ka. But dead end na siya. Because you were not able to grasp the change. That is why it's a challenge for you to, to follow the footsteps. Diba? To embrace the constantly changing world. Ingon pa ganina ni Ma'am Suzette, during the last three years daw, they keep on learning and learning and learning in order to be on track. Diba? Kaya sa, sa live production, lisod ka ayo o kanabit ang mapay pagsugod kasi sure everybody was actually starting that time so nagi mga chances nga mafail ka sa imong first nga live or sa first ni mga event but it will not stop you all you need to do is to extract the learning out from that and the next time you perform that you must be better remember that in every failure lies opportunities for us to learn right so every time in ani oh, naglisod ko in ani Don't be dismayed. Ayaw mo og kabalaka tungod kay. Those are the things that are happening to you because you are entitled of learning. Dili pwede nga nigawas ta nga master na dayon. Right? So, we need to embrace the love of learning. Another you is the mice exciting. This, uh, I... I coined this word the mice exciting because when I reflected what, what are the experiences that we had during the events that we organized or the activities that we've been through, mas, mas, mas exciting ang work if we can communicate well with the team, if we can collaborate with the team. 
if we have learned things prior sa ato ang activities. So, last 2021, we were able to conduct an ACPOR. It was um, uh, a United Nations IFAD-led project. Nag-annual review sila, but they have this problem, and I met them. Nagka-problema sila because on sao nila pag ng ilang event. And that was the time nakasagsagan nga, dili pagid ka ayaw pagawason. If na may pagawason, katulang na ID, katulang na bakuna, o limited rasad ang pwede. So, I'll give you, uh, I'll, I would like to share it to you this video. I don't know kung play ba. Um, short clip lang niya about how exciting the world of the the current trend of you know events right now so ma, as what mam Ma suzette said maski pa og padayon na ang events karon nga mag face to face na dili gyud gihapon wala pa gihapon na erase ang hybrid wala pa gihapon na wala ang live streaming and with your capabilities to learn this is actually um exciting Project, but this is the way for projects to be sustainable and be resilient. question will be directed to Marifis and Nelda. session tomorrow will start at 8 o'clock in the morning. A very meaningful learning yesterday despite our physical distance. I hope everybody is well today as we continue this noble endeavor of meaningful discussions for agricultural and rural development.
So I precisely choose this um, snippets of the event because um, must ni relate siya sa mention ni Professor Bam kanina, di ba? That we have to consider a lot of um, services. And also, na mention siya ni Ma'am Suzette kanina, na in conducting events or in our industry, we have to consider a lot of things. We have to consider if there are florists or the decorators, the entertainers, the food servers, the venue, the sounds and lights. As what you can see, the industry is a huge ocean of possibilities. Daghan kita pwede ma-discover sa atong kaugalingon where we belong and where your heart calls, no? But in order for us to fit in in the industry, there are vital skills that we need to to develop. And isa po din ha is the communication skill because event is actually a communication, di ba? We engage with our audience, we engage with our clients, we engage with people around us who are our target audience, who are our target markets. So we, uh, we try to improve our listening skills, our, our active listening skills, to be empathic, to learn how our audience feels. Kung nagduka na ba ang ato ang mga kaistorya, kung giganahan pa ba sila sa ato ah, there are a lot of things that we can innovate by simply listening to them. No? And of course, we are developing our skill in communication most specifically in being clear and concise in the delivery of our communication. So, for example, we are going to do the, con the conduct of event. We mainly ask, what's the objective? Remember, sir, I ask you, what's the objective of my topic? What's the objective of this event? Because we need to know para sa asa ni siya because we might be putting there um, a performer that is not relatable no sa ato ang topic diba magbutang ta dira og singer nga layo ra kaayo sa atong topic and we need to know that our communication process is na ba siya feedback nga ma-receive remember that it's a process no so we need to develop this and remember everything is a communication and we may not be experts, but at least we have embraced the concept of learning and we can constantly learn. Next thing is relationships. Exciting ang parts of relationship because it is also constantly changing. Once you deliver the same food every day, once you deliver the same recipe every day to your clients, pulan sila. And most especially in our industry, in hospitality and tourism industry, dali ra ka ayo mapulan ang atong customers. Dali ra ka ayo mapulan ang atong audience. That is why we need to know how are we going to hook them up. And that's actually part of the relationship thing, no? It's it's actually working it out based sa imong team. That is why we need to enhance our collaboration process. We need to be a collaborative individual in order for us to enhance our skill in that process. With this, kung ma-enhance nato pag ayo ang ato ang relationship, sa imuhang team, itigawas ni mo, ang imuhang clients will feel that you are a good team player. You are a good service provider. Diba? O sahay, kung mangita taog trabaho, ginakonsider nato ang unsaman. Ang culture, right? Kung, kung musulod ta sa uh, uban nga organization, ang atong ginatanaw, bibo baka ni sila din hiya, happy baka ni sila din hiya, basin og toxic ra ni sila din hiya. No? Relationship plays a vital role in the industry that we have chosen. Remember that people invest their money in business and services that make them feel seen, cared for, and connected. Especially in our industry. Diba? Kabantay mo usahay o dili na tutubagon ang kliyente. I've experienced that firsthand sa among Facebook page. Ang among Facebook page, mag-operate lang siya from 9am to 5pm. Na yung mag-message siya, mag-alas na sa gabi eh. mag yaw, -yaw. Kaya nga nung dili mo reply, mo si Indra may auto-reply raman. And I, I, I understand them because being a customer, naatay ka na bitong feeling na dapat, dapat ma-attend ma ko. Diba? Dapat ma-atiman ko. That's 
our role in how are we going to improve our relationship with them. And while we engage our customer, we must also cultivate, as I've said, the relationship within our team in order for us to emanate the energy. Kung happy ang ato ang grupo, happy sa ta makik-engage sa atong organization. So, According to Brand Johnson, mga kota akong gimension ka ganina, para na lang may koan, people invest their time and money in business and services that make them feel seen, cared for, and connected, especially in the hospitality industry. Brandon Johnson is a um, hospitality guru. So, iyahagin gina emphasize permanently because there are a lot of things that matters most. And isa ni siya, ang pag-understand na to sa tong relationship within our activities. So, Another thing na mas kitaan ako nga i-highlight sa ato ang leadership, no? So nga, gipili ani nga industry is that the most importante, yan. Mas importante nga mga butang. Because providing exceptional service is very important. Hospitality is about providing exceptional service to the customers. And also, we have to keep in mind that our customer is the story of our business. They are the receptors of our story in the business. Because at the end of the day, it's not about us doing the business. It's about them, and that is why we do the business, because of our customers. And not that, own, not, not that narcissistic or not that ang ato ang mga customers is kulang sa pansin, but because they are willing to pay for that, and because we are trying to foster, di ba? Hospitality gani, di ba? So we tend to foster the care. We tend to foster the best memories, di ba? Or let us say, the memorable experience nga pwede na ito mapa-experience sa ato ang guest. And mo na siya ang ilahang ginabayaran. Alright. So, with another key thing is that service matters. What we make them feel lasts. Kung giunsa nato pag approach ang atong customers, giunsa nato pag atiman ng atong mga customers, whether naaman ka sa fast food chain, sa hotel, naaman ka sa lahi ng industry, on sa feeling sa imong customer that time na nag-engage mo, magdugay na siya mo na yung remember. Di ba? Kung naka experience mo og suplada ang cashier sa burger station, gisapot siya, di ba? Magdugay. Ka familiar mo ana? Ah, uh, yes. Di na lang nato in-name ang brand kay Luoy Sad. <laughs> anyway, customer will pay more than they know because their problems or you have handed them quickly para masolve ang ilang problema. Kabantay mo anang name mag-tip. Diba? Oh, dako na siya nga source of income pag na mo sa hospitality dako sa industry. Kaya nga naman, even sa amo, uh, mo ni siya naka-contract price, pag happy ang amo ang kliyente, they will pay more than that. Na ay tips. ba? Diba? Mas, mas malipay sila kung na-solve ang ilahang problem. So, ito na siya sa ato ang timanan. Our service matter. So, whether we like it or not, this is the reality and it may not be all about money, but it is all about the service that we give to them. Good services make them stay longer and most probably, mubalik sila and mahimo sila ni og retain customers. And in the service, we must also learn to feel the customers. That is why we need to develop the empathy. And another thing, it is yours. It is yours because wherever you are, think like it is your own. Kung manarbaho man ta, kung maghimo man tag atong negosyo better because it is really our own business. Kung sa imo man ang parents nga business, think like it is also your own business. Muna gingon nga, ownership. Take ownership in anywhere nga ma-assign mo or in anywhere nga pwede mo ibutang sa industry nga imo hang gipili. Take ownership. Because why not? Because in anything that na assign mo, once you take ownership to that, you tend to take care of that. You tend to do your best because it is your own. No? In any organizations that has this one, mao na ilhang gina scout sa mga pareha sa inyo ha. More than your experience, it's your mindset that they are trying to see, de ba? In the hospitality industry. Ripe na kaayo, hinug na kaayo ang concept sa intrapreneurs. Kinsay nakafamiliar aning term nga intrapreneurs? 
Bago pa. Okay. The entrepreneurs are the person within the business who develops an idea or product within the business. Let us say the Hilton. Hilton Hotels? Chain of Hotels. Kana sila, brainchild na siya, ang kanang pagtukod o glain ng mga hotels, no longer sa ilahang CEO or sa ilang business development, but sa mga ideas, sa ilahang mga bago nga mga employees. Let us say, for example, sa Google. Kinsay na ka-familiar, syempre sa Gmail diri a. Ah. Ang atong diba system is Google, diba? Okay. So, mo ni siya ang entrepreneur. Ayan. Great things in the business are never done by one person. Ingan pa si Steve, Steve Jobs, diba? They are done by a team of people. Naa, si, naa sa Google ang kanang Gmail, but it is actually a project within the organization when it started. So, dira nag-spark pag-ayo ang concept of entrepreneurs because they have developed the person to do a solution para mas mapadali ang business. So, eventually, when you take ownership, you will be entrusted of something, special project, nga mahimo mo o manager ana. Mo nang nanay siya gitawag business units and mga gitawag nilag sa ligando. Let us say, for example, in San Miguel, Diba? Before ang nailhan nato lahi ang tag-iya and now lahi na sadang CEO because he was eventually kinsa na karon si Ramon Ang because eventually he was developed to become an entrepreneur. Daghan siya gi-inject nga innovation, daghan siya gi-inject nga project and eventually ni flourish because iya hang gi-take it as his own. And after that, nag-lead na siya sa organization. Maybe you can be like that. Note that in entrepreneur it involves passionate individuals like you. No, to have this set of skills and to introduce to you the person who developed sa Google uh, Gmail is si Paul Bush, uh, si Paul Boche. So ingon pa siya, si ingon pa siya, the intrinsic path to success is to focus on being the person that you are and put all your energy and drive into being the best possible version of yourself. Because in the process of putting yourself in. You will develop a lot of things. Before ko na himong owner sa kung kagulion ng business, I used to work for people diri as a butuan, no? Not to mention before ko na himong DJ, gapang limpio, gapang hugas, pakog baso, mang limpio ng CR, just to survive. But eventually, if you are if you are tawag ni consistent sa imo hang pangandoy ng maachieve na sa nimo. You have to take ownership in all the things that you assign to you. Eventually, you'll have your own. Eventually, you will be trusted. As what you can see sa ako ng LinkedIn, na pa'y concurrent ng mga organizations ng ako ng ginahawiran because they have trusted me. Not to brag on that, to inspire you nga. Pwede gida ita maghandol ng lain lain ng projects because what we are trusted, and that is because you have take the ownership. That is why. I am encouraging you to take the lead because our industry, the, the chosen industry that where you are right now is fast pacing, it's constantly evolving, and it's con it is constantly needing people like you who are exploring, who are trying to shift, who would love to innovate and would embrace the leadership within you. And you will not be able to lead if you are not open to learn. If you are not good at communicating, express yourself. There's nothing wrong about it. And if you are not open to own anything, kung onsay, gi, and trust sa imuha. Because as my at we um as what we can see in the pursuit of learning, there is always innovation, no? There is oh that also involves communication skills. That also involves relationship management. That also involves leadership. That also involves being on track of the technology para dilit tamabiyan. As what I've said kanina, always embrace the learning because that's part of the process. And once again, it's what we call the Vuja Day. Leading in the same world, ayan, leading in the same world. Haman to, nawala ang akong projector. That's Vuja Day. Yan. Leading in the same world, but with a fresh perspective. Naarata sa tourism industry, naarata sa hospitality industry, but with a new perspective. We question things, we are curious a lot of things, because we tend to improve those. No? So we tend to improve those. So when we lead, we have to embrace the process of learning. 
I am a certified Canva user also. And during the last Canva Create event, I would like to uh, emphasize on their uh, hybrid event manggihapon to siya. I would like to emphasize on the things that was mentioned during their opening salvo, which is this one. Listen to your heart, do good in the world, and of course, it's a choice. And so the rest is up to you what you do next, whether you lead, you employ, or do your business. Good afternoon. Thank you. So thank you, Mr. Franco, for imparting us with your valuable knowledge about the quali qualification and tips in becoming a future leader of hospitality and tourism industry. I'm sure that every one of us has the quality to, to become a future leader someday, especially to our on-site participants since we will be graduating this school year. So to To name a few, I would like to shout out Mr. De Guzman, Mr. Lapinig, and Ms. Mahilum. Uh, I know that they are very good at cooking and someday they will soar great heights in the culinary industry. Matod <clears throat> Pani, Mr. De Guzman, or as what Mr. De Guzman have said. When you've eaten my signature dish, 100% guaranteed, you will forget your ex, I mean your name. Next is Miss Fumar, Miss Mr. Spaer, and Mr. Carlobos. I know that they have the potential and capacity to become a future manager someday. So, so once again, thank you, Mr. Franco. Let us give Mr. Franco a round of applause. So at this juncture, we would like to call on Mr. Shamey Otakan and Mark Anthony Haitin to give their insights and facilitate the open forum for the topic of first and second resource speaker. Okay, um, good afternoon everyone. We would like to thank Mom Suzette for her talk lately about hybrid events and, and also to... And yes, to you Mr. Dave Franco for mentoring hospitality and tourism students for the qualities necessary for leadership in our field. And at this juncture, we will now proceed to the open forum. May we request our resource speaker to... Come here in front for the open forum. Thank you. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call our attention. Okay, so for Mr. Dave Franco, we thank you for mentoring hospitality and tourism students. We can really benefit from the knowledge, advice, and tips that you have provided to us. And this learned how to embrace the changing world with a new perspective and to perform excellently as a leader. And so, if, if, um, are there any questions for Mr. Franco? Yes, Ms. Chanson? Good afternoon. As a seasoned event organizer, what are the essential skills and characteristics we need to develop as a future managers in our industry? 
Nakulbahan ko sa seasoned organizer. <laughs> I think I need to have more time to become seasoned. But anyway, thank you for that word. Um, what are the essential skills, right? Uh, as per experience lang, um, number one is the details. We have to listen so much on the details. Number two, the skill of bringing your notebook and ballpen with you during meetings and any time you go. While you organize the meeting, you particularly need to write down all the things you need to remember. Do not trust your brain solely. Trust your hands that can write so that you can track the memory. Number two, the skill of keeping the relationship. In anything that we do, there are a lot of things that we can consider to, become, uh, to make the event successful. But if our relationship with our clients and our team is established, everything will follow. And lastly, the skill of trusting your peers or your team. Because if you have trusted everyone around you, you can do a lot of things. You are a powerhouse of talented people. But if you don't trust them, it will really fail. Um, there are a lot of things that we can actually consider when we say skills, but those are the things I want to highlight. Thank you, Mr. Franco. Is there anything else who wants to ask? Yes, Ms. Miro. Good afternoon. So my question is for Sir Franco. So since our industry is very dynamic and complex, how do you handle generational gaps in events management? I really like that question. No? Generational gaps. As I've mentioned kanina, there's always this thing. Actually, muna gibutang tanong ko ganina ang siya na lang kay bata. Because there, we are actually experiencing that generational gaps. Um, in handling that, we don't need to prove anything to them that we are better than the older ones or the seniors. Or we don't need to, you know, to brag about being the know-how and the technology and a lot of things. But simply being humble because there are wisdoms that you can pair with the technology. They, they have this problem-solving skills that you don't have, but you have this um, technology-based concepts. You have this technology-based um, knowledge nga pwede na to i-pair sa ilaha. Um, I will bring you to an, an experience that the recently done na mo nga um, knowledge learning market with also with Dar Ifad. Um, there are, we have this complexity nga mo ang gitry og solve um, sa technical naman. The wiring lang sa audio plus the video thing. We capture from different, we have this about seven units the gina capture na mo and uh, different audio. So, different mixers. And wala mi nangutana sa katong mas una sa amo because digital lagi. And only to find out, ang makasolver day sa amo kay katurang wala siya experience sa computer but he can operate the sound system. Diba? So, generational gaps are just age but not the wisdom. So, just be humble and we have to talk about it. Ano lang. Well, thank you so much for that, Mr. Franco. And we also have a question from one of our participants here for Ms. Vinyas. So, he said that pre-pandemic, we normally are used to on-site events, especially seminars and trainings. With, our, with your experiences, or, do, or with your experience, what are the usual challenges you encountered in conducting hybrid events? And how do you make around with them? Or what tips can you give to overcome these challenges? Thank you. Thank you for that question, <laughs> Miss Universe. Um, uh, first things first is, um, I think it's keeping the interest, no? Because, as I've said, um, I think it, I think it applies to everyone that we have so many distractions. Social media alone is is already consuming so much of our time. So, how do you keep the interest? Because, like, say for example, especially if it's an online speaker, sometimes the viewers don't listen. If it's like. Um, Especially if it's a different nationality and it's very difficult to understand. There's a language barrier that's uh, one of the most difficult. Another one is um, it's really matching the needs of your audience to the 
speaker. No, I say for example, um, a lot of a lot of um, our young generation resonate with a younger person. No, I'm not saying that di natamamino sa mga katigulangan. We can still listen to them, but assign a topic na you think they will be more engaging. They will be uh, they will have more experience that they can share, so that the the audience will listen. They will be enamored kay hello uday no kana ana ganing a moment nga ah uh, mo day pod nga kanis yang gipili because sometimes also it's difficult to choose a topic for a particular person if you really don't know the person that's why it's very important to know or to choose your um, um, speakers well at the same time lastly is um, content gid happen the way you um, craft the program unsa on ninyo nga mag inject siya at the same time like if you have a host sa hybrid pwede pud siya nga you know he or she can go around you know to to see the oh, unsa na na kanang nay kumustahan bitaw dili lang nga uh, We're just giving all the information and we don't have interaction. So that's a recipe for failure, good. So I, I go back to uh, getting good hosts, uh, getting speakers, and matching the needs of your audience with that of uh, what, you can, what the speakers can deliver. Thank you. Uh, okay, thank you for that, ma'am. That indeed, that we need to, uh, to know our audience in conducting our events. So. Um, also, na marilate po na mo sa gingo na Sir Franco sa mong communication before is before he accepting this uh, na mag resource speaker sa event is nangotara siya kung on say objectives po na gusto na to makuha gikan sa iya. So, I think that's one of the best practices in conducting MICE events or any events. So, I ma'am, we also have another question for you. Um, she said that we are adopting hybrid events Even hybrid classes, where do you think this type of event is going here in our locality? And how do you see the people accepting this type of event? Okay, so um, it's not going away. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's, it's the new normal. And kung wa pata ka-adapt, dapat ta mo adapt. Why? Because um, it has become easier, like, di ba, if you're a service provider. Sa sugod, it's very difficult. But as you as you um, practice, you use it. Sometimes gani kanang ay nga naradi ay okay. Mura gana na lang. But as um as per, as a person kung service ikaw 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 muhatik sa service ing anak. But for those nga as audience no as you know followers in social media and whatnot, mas convenient good no. The our our lives depend on our phones, so we might as well use it. Siguro lang. Um, in our locality, ang Wi-Fi lang yun. You know, very, very important because not all of us have access to Wi-Fi all the time. So that's one of the things that we, uh, infrastructure-wise, but mostly we Filipinos, but they even said that there's, if there's a new game, the beta testing, they do it in the Philippines because we are the most number of people nga hilig daw kaayo sa game. So pag mo work daw sa Philippines ng market, meaning more work siya overseas. Can you imagine that, diba? Even in social media where we have the most number of followers, even the vlogs, kita yung pinakadaghan ng viewers. So, uh, the, ang atong consumption in terms of online, whether it be social media, gaming, is on a high. So, kita as service providers might as well, um, kumbaga, make use of that uh, advantage. Make use of it to our advantage, rather. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much for that, ma'am. I have here some questions for Sir Franco. And some of us here are graduating students, envisioned ourselves to be event managers, but along with it are stressor. What advice can you give us to manage stress? Stress, <laughs> stress management. Yeah, stress management. If, if you cannot manage your stress, <laughs> joke, but uh, ang stress manggod, mahimo ra uh, mahimo ra manggod ang stress kung ang events ni mo kay wala ni mo gi-enjoy. But for us who are working in the industry nga uh, bibo lang mi because we are we are uh, a company of 30s below. So ang amo ang palibot, grabe ka bibo. So if we are working on particular projects, we don't feel like it's stressing us. It's just like we are playing. No, inana lang. So For you to be able to manage your stress, you need to reassess if kana bagid lang imo hang gipili nga area is para sa imo ha because if it is causing you a lot of stress or it is 
toxing you or giving you a lot of toxic. So, dili na siya para sa imuha. And if you may mean stress siya physically sa imuha, um, maybe you need to take some rest. Ana lang siya. And para sa amua, if we conduct events, we invest a lot of sleep before we engage to the actual warfare. Inana, kay magsugod naman ang walay tulog. Pero sa event lang mismo, it cannot cause a stress kung enjoy lang me. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you so much for that, sir. Uh, we also have last question for Ma'am Suzette. Um, he said that as an event organizer, what event benefits does a company get in conducting hybrid events? Do you think this is sustainable? Um, the... <laughs> Again, Ma'am. What benefits? Uh, the benefits would be is expanding your reach. No, uh, As I've said, say for example, um, when you have a page, you need to grow it, but at the same time, you need to study where your content is being appreciated. No, Is it local in Butuan or in Caraga region? Like say, for example, for us, since we manage a school page, we can definitely identify which areas we need to improve on or what content should we create no? so that we can attract more students to enroll in FSU because, um, you know, students nowadays, they are not just looking at um, the academic side, but also the fun side, no? the student life. Um, does your school provide um, games? Does your school provide sports activities? Um, what other areas can we improve on? So basically, hybrid events become sustainable in a sense that you are evaluating everything that you do. You're evaluating, you're getting that data to create more better content or more better events. At the same time, not just for us, no, even for your industry, it becomes sustainable kay first and foremost less paper diba di na ka maghatag og seminar kit nga arang kadaghan or it becomes sustainable carbon footprint char diba kay di naman molupad no pwede naman nga online na kumutan aw mo attend sa seminar at the same time um, for your generation um, the information is everywhere no if there's a free webinar go get it if there's a free live stream at facebook go watch it because because that's how you will be given an edge over the others because to me mo graduate mo tanan pero kung if you stop learning then it's the end for you so i think that it will all thank you okay thank you so much for that ma'am um do you still have questions or clarifications to our resource speakers? Wala na good, sure na. Okay, thank you for the, thank you so much, Ma'am Suzette and Sir Dave. Uh, please remain to the stage, ma'am, kay certificate conversation. Sorry. <laughs> we would like to call on Ms. Grizel Custan to present the certificate and token of appreciation. A round of applause, please. Thank you, Mr. Irvin Chiropoco. So before I read the citation, may I request the presence of the chairperson and our faculty members of HT HMTM on the stage to present the certificate and token of appreciation to our guest speakers, Ms. Suzette Boholano Vinyas and to Mr. F. Salms Dave Franco. A round of applause, please. So please allow me to read the citation. Father Saturnino Oyers University Business Administration Program Hospitality and Tourism Management awards this certificate of appreciation to Ms. Suzette Vinyas and Mr. Dave Franco for sharing valuable knowledge as a guest speaker during the webinar with the team, Transformation, Equipping and Molding the Future Leaders of Hospitality and Tourism Industry. 
held on March 25, 2023 at FSU AVR and virtual platform. Given this 25th day of March 2023 at FSU Butuan City, signed by Mark Lennon A. Sitones, the chairperson of HMTM, and Dr. Emiliana J. Lozano, the Dean of the Business Administration Program, and Reverend Father Randy Jasper, CEO Chike, the Vice President of the Academic Affairs and Research. Please give them a round of applause. Um, uh, Mama, sir, please, please be remain on. Please sit in front for the oppo photo opportunity with the participants. Sorry, Mom. In this angle, ma. Yes, ma. <laughs> Together with the organizing committee, na. Up, please stand down. Ten. So on behalf of the organizing committee, we would like to thank our keynote speaker, Professor Maria Arlene Bam de Simulacion, our first resource speaker, Ms. Suzette B. Vinyas, and our second resource speaker, Mr. Absalms Dave Franco. Again, we are honored and privileged to hear your Hello. valuable insights in this hybrid webinar. Let's give them a round of applause, please. Hello. Hello. Also, we want to take this opportunity to congratulate the organizing team for their hard work in putting together this successful event. A round of applause, please. We would like to introduce the organizing committee. First is Mr. Mark Anthony M. Haiktin, our event chairperson. Mr. Richmond M. Haka, Hello. event chairperson. Myself and Miss Trisha May Otakan, Miss Kathleen Spandones, Miss Angeline Razonabe, Miss Crisel Custan, Miss Nice Kalub.
Si, Mark? Huh? And for our faculty members, Miss Edaline M. Hoven, Miss Miljin Rose Avenido, Miss Regine Humawan, Miss Joanne Oyoso, and Miss Raul, Mr. Saul Kike, and Chef Benjamin Sinaka. A round of applause. We would like to invite you all to our upcoming event at Father Saturnino Urius University, AVR2 for the Fine Dining Etiquette and the Art Wine sem Seminars. For the certificate of appreciation, I uh, certificate of appreciation to our participant. Please allow me to read the citation. Father Saturnino Orios University Business Administration Program, Hospitality and Tourism Management, award the certification of appreciation to the to the participant for participating in the hybrid webinar with the team of transformization, equipping, and molding the future leaders of hospitality and tourism industry, held on March. 25, 2023 at FSUU AVR1 and virtual platform. Given this 25th day of March 2023 at, at, at FSUU Butuan City, signed by Professor Maria Arlene Fernaliti Dismolacion, keynote speaker, Ms. Suzette B. Vinyas, SGD, resource speaker, Mr. Epsom's Dave Franco, resource speaker, Mr. Mark Lennon A. Sitones, LPT MMHM, HM and TM Chairperson, and, Ms. and Dr. Emiliana J. Lozano, Dean Business Administration Program. So to receive this easier certificate, we would remind the on-site participant to fill up the evaluation form. And for our online participants, please be reminded to scan the QR code or the evaluation link provided, provided at the chat box. And please be reminded that the closing of the evaluation link at is, is at exactly 6 p.m. In this part of the program, we will now be listening to the closing remarks of Ms. Mr. Richmond Haka. A round of applause, please. So again, mabuhay and good afternoon, everyone. Before I start my closing remarks, I would like to encourage the on-site participants to clap your hands for sharing your time with us. Especially to live viewers, kindly please comment a virtual clap if you are still with us. Ayan, ayan, thank you. So on behalf of the organizer, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to everyone for making this event successful. I sincerely wish that the webinar team, transformation, equipment, and modeling the future leaders of hospitality and tourism industry. With the enlightening words from our invited speaker, sink into our mind that this travels that wide horizon of hospitality and tourism industry. To our speakers, thank you for allowing us to learn and participate in this fruitful discussion. To our keynote speaker, Professor Maria Arlene Fernali Dissimulation, ma'am, thank you for thank you for comprehensive discussion on how the mice Industry has evolved and adapted to the changing needs to the time, brings hope for us graduating students that the experience we during the length, during the height of pandemic made us resilient, flexible, and adaptive to our industry. Also to Ms. Josette Bulohano Vinyas, thank you for giving us insightful discussion on conducting hybrid hybrid events. Your experience and expertise inspire us to strive always for the best. Not just for ourselves, but eventually for our future 
client should enter the life of our event organizing. Lastly, but also to again, lastly, surely not less to Mr. M. S. Dave Franco for sharing his wonderful insight in equipping and molding the future leaders of hospitality and tourism industry. Each one of us can utilize these learnings and wisdom in the future. The rest of the members of organizing committee and I are rather extending our heartfelt, heartfelt gratitude to the program dean, chairperson and faculty member for always providing us with activities and avenue for us to grow and flourish the skills that have been nurtured for, nurtured for us to start of our journey with FSUU. Your support and mentorship will always be our treasure and guide for be as the light to hope you hope for us to be. To my classmates, we are nearly completed our closing chapter of our student journey. My prayer to all of us is when we achieve our dreams, we should look back to where we start and support others just as we have been helped. I request everyone on-site participants to say together, to say together our school, <laughs> to say together our school mot motto. Hello, hello. Again, to say our school motto. One, two, three. Okay, thank you. That's what we all think. Thank you, Mr. Richmond Hack. Again, we thank the organizing committee for the trust in hosting your event. I am Angeline Rezonabe. And I'm Irvin Chuapoko. See you at our future events. To formally close this webinar, please rise to sing the FSUU hymn. God bless us all. This is so...